Hey, how's it going? Though? How are all of you doing? Are you guys ready for a tiny bit rougher? A tiny bit rougher? Does it make it hotter or sexier? I don't know. But we're doing variety today. Okay, that's better. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Also, I saw in a video that um, there's... <laughs> okay. It has been made clear enough to me that sometimes my audio is overbearing as in the audio of the game. So, what I'm doing is I am making an effort to make sure that my voice is louder than the game. But then I'm not as loud. But I can still hear the game. Rejoice. I know. I'm Finally. really... <laughs> so what I... I'm trying... I think the best solution is to literally just lower the game itself. Because for some reason, for me to hear things properly, I have to have it at like 10. But I found a way so I can still hear the game. So right now, this game is literally at two. But I imagine it's still a lot. Uh oh, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? Okay. Are we ready to start? I'm eating sharks as well. Back to lurking? Okay, okay. But yeah, I've been eating a bunch of sharks right now. So good. The gummy ones. It's delicious. Okay, right, let's start. Tell me if the audio is too loud or quiet. She wants Asmin's daughter to show up crump MHM. No, that's not true. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, disable the fuckers. Wow. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're gonna start now. October best month. <laughs> I just like winter stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, does he read it? I don't... One Pi. Area 11. PCS. ISS2. ECC. I don't know what this means. What does it mean? Once fourth pass, it starts spoopy season. Saw a blow up Jacko Lantern at Costco Day. <laughs> I know Halloween's already kicking in, but oh, oh, you can click stuff. Isopropyl alcohol bottle, pump bottle, description: Mirage brand disinfecting alcohol, a common sight in hospitals in the north. What is this? Is this Resident Evil? medical box used for storing radioactive medication so why was like wait what military grade alloy only opens up that's what oh wait here i gotta read this what military grade alloy why would a hospital need something like that i can't break this i'd maybe need a power drill Oh, it's, you can click on a lot of stuff. So, was there any response? Oh, it's multiple dialogues. I must poke one of your mods. Excuse me? I don't think so. Hmm, where are you gonna get somebody? We've been away for a while. No one's coming to check up on us. The door is locked, so we can't get out either. Why are we locked in? That's what I want to know. I woke up here after that accident we had. I have no idea what went, and it hurts everywhere. But when I woke up, you were already up for a while. Boss. Boss? Who, me? Who else? The boss of the biggest smuggling gang in town. Ivan Zong. 
This kid knows how to talk. You're quite the smooth talker, of course. It's an important skill to have when working with you. So, what do we do? Why is that floating? Even Koi knows? Notice what? Do you think we were arrested? His voice is getting stiff. He's not that good at hiding his nervousness. What are you so anxious about? Anxious? Eh, am I? Maybe a little. I'm so confused as to what's going on. All I know is that I woke up hurting all over. Shit. Still can't move my legs. He's starting to panic. Calm down, let's get oriented. Hmm, got it. Sorry, I can take care of myself. It's fine, it's fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So what do you think? Do you think we've been arrested? Perhaps. Huh? Perhaps? That doesn't sound like what you'd normally say. He's right, it doesn't. Is this because of a crash? Did you get a concussion? You're the one with the concussion. I won't deny that. I've been feeling dizzy this whole time. God knows when it will stop. I can't remember what happened in between either. My memory is also pretty blurry. This is tough. Why don't you tell me what you know? Sure, we'll do. We met up with Achan at the docks at 4 a.m. He said he had a package for us that he smuggled out of Sunrise's lab. What was in the package? It was some kind of liquid weapon. That's all he wanted to reveal. If we wanted to buy, we had to meet him face to face. But I should be the one asking that question. We were the one who verified the contents. I was only responsible for moving the goods. He never told us anything about it. I don't think they cheat us, though. After all, my brother Alex was the one who introduced us. Otherwise, this trade would never have happened. What do you think? So in the end, it was a successful transaction. Achan gave us some goods, we gave him the money. I did all the appropriate preparations to secure the package, and we were off. But a couple minutes after we pulled away, things started going nuts. The cops just started shooting at us. There were no sirens, no blockades, not even a fucking warning. I fired back, but my rifle got hit. I tried to intercept the comms, but there was nothing on the comms, only static. This was when you, I, shit, that was my memories blacked out. I threw off the cops by making them think we went on the highway. I managed to throw them off our tail. Yeah, yeah. Ha, huh. that was that was great. You got them to chase the wrong car. And then we were safe again. We weren't being followed. And our injuries weren't serious. We never checked the cars, so I don't know. Because then, we suddenly lost control of the engine and the steering wheel. And then bang, we hit a pillar. After that, we woke up here. A fine young man and an old geezer, left with nothing to do but stare at each other. This kid's just shooting his mouth off. You got a lot of guts to talk like that. That's because I trust you to be a bigger man. You wouldn't get mad over a tiny comment, right? That's correct. Thanks, I knew you were cool. This old geezer is going to show you what a real geezer is. Oh! <laughs> you have to choose quickly, okay. Well, that's all I remember about it. What happened to your brother Alex? Huh? Didn't you just tell me he was in another ward? Look, I think it says that on the screen. I can't quite see what's on it, but it's what you told me. That's why I thought the three of us were already arrested. They were just waiting for us to heal so they could interrogate us. The hospital database is connected to the governments, so they probably know our identities, even if they weren't notified. The 
cops might not know who they're chasing. That's possible. We never showed our faces, so that they could only ID the car. If we were brought in just in as just people from a traffic accident, it's definitely possible that we haven't been arrested. Okay. I might have been too much of a pessimist, but it's better to be careful, right? He's being a lot more careful than usual. Is he still hung up on something? We still have one more important thing we need to do, regardless of the rest of the situation. We need to leave this damn ward. We've been waiting for half an hour now. No doctor or nurse has come to check on us. I don't know what this means, but... I don't think we should just sit and wait. He's on edge, but he doesn't even realize it. I get it. He's not worried about himself. He's worried about his brother. Are you worried about Alex? A bit. I want to see him to make sure he's okay. No one responded after you knocked the door, so I don't think there's anyone out there at the moment. That's probably a good thing. At least we won't get mobbed and interrogated the moment the door is open. So, what should we do now? We should start with the lock. But I checked it. It can't be picked or busted. Well, oh. Hmm. The problem is, that lock is unbreakable. Why? That's a military lock. You gotta be kidding me. Why would this local hospital use military locks? Is that where my hospital donations are going? No wonder they always do. No wonder they're always doing charity drives. I don't get it. Uh, okay. At least we know that won't work. We're left with two options: look for a key card that someone might have left behind, or just guess the password to the control panel. The control panel? Uh huh. The one back here. It should control most of the electronics in the room. IV drips, air conditioning, and of course, even the door. That being said, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere by just guessing. It only allows so many field login attempts. We mess this up and we'll be out of options. Hmm. You could try looking for some sticky notes or something similar. I spent a lot of time at old hospitals, like this while taking care of Alex. Taking care of Alex? I didn't know about this. He rarely speaks about his family. What do you mean by taking care of Alex? I was literally taking care of him. He's been free and sick since he was a child, so he spent a lot of time at the hospital. I was his only family, so I had to take care of him. Albert, I... The nurses said... The nurses there would always write the password to, con to the control somewhere, in case they forgot. It's worth a shot. Otherwise... We'll, be ju we'll just be stuck here for sure. Oh, find a password hit. There were sticky notes right here. Description. There's writing scribble on it. Don't forget the password. Here's the hint. Zero number from the implant rejection mats. I damage some words. I don't remember writing this. What on earth? Hi, Bumble. How are you? Rejection ads. So it's probably these two, but. Oh, dad. Can I click on it? Doesn't look like you can click on anything. I found something. Oh, they actually love something. I didn't want to get my hopes up, but that's great news. Can we get the door open now? Unless you have a medical degree, because I don't know. How's anyone supposed to know the serial number? No, I've only got a hint. 
a hint, pastor hint, like a birthday, pet name, or a mother's maiden name. Okay, I guess that makes sense. You about to hit the side? Okay. Good night. They want my patients finding passwords right there. What was the hint? Maybe we can figure it out. It said ser it was a serial number to a drug that reduced implant rejections. He's not gonna know that. Stereo number to a drug that regroups them. <laughs> Come again? The what? Hmm, I, I think Alex might have taken something like that. I wouldn't know the serial number though. There's a couple of bottles here that look similar to the ones he had. You could take a look. Other than that, I got nothing. He's talking about these bottles? Oh my gosh. Oh, right here. Y5YC? Y5YC. Oh, you can run. And you can pick this up. Use this? Oh? Please send your password. Start typing? Wait, what? Oh, why? Five. Why? Why? C. Uh, give me a moment. My headset just died. I hate when my uh, headset doesn't charge the other one, so I have to switch my which hats I'm using. Okay, I can hear again. Are you guys enjoying? <laughs> I don't know if this is fun for you guys. I just want to try this game out. If it's not good, then uh, yeah. Verifying. Access approved. Oh, no way. You're a genius. Now we can get out. Select a function. Uh, medical record. Other. Oh. And. What? MBU. Stop it. MBU? Yes, that's you. I'm talking to you. Bring your body here. Wait, why did he say it like that? Bring your body here? You deviated from your. I need a sneeze. It went away. We still haven't received the information we need. What are you doing? This man, this place. Assignment? Data three, what is this problem? It's pretty clear that MBU is exhibiting memory displacement. What's its classification? I need to sneeze, but it keeps coming and going. It's an assault TA7 silencer. I need answers. All I can say now, for now, is that this tends to happen to all cell type MBUs. And the reason? Their pods were the first to be downgraded because they were only designed for short term activities. Their intelligence and memories were capped at certain levels so that we. So, what are you saying is, Section 13 gave us defected pro products? We didn't have a lot. We didn't have a lot. Wait, what? We didn't have a lot to choose from. I'm gonna assume that's a, a grammar error. This was the, this was one of the few functioning MBUs they had ever since those owls found us. So right now, this MBU doesn't understand anything. I can perform simple 
locomotion, and verbal communications. Otherwise, you're right. It can't do much. I've heard enough. If you're not satisfied, I can... I said it's enough. Under said. One more thing. I notice experimental devices I need inside the simulation room. Why did you do that? Where? Those injections, or those injectors on a cabinet. Your people left them there, right? Yes. Any reasons why they're there? Those were left behind from the previous operation. You left items in the simulation room? I can both deal with that right now. If. No. No need. You're dismissed. Understood. Now that you're aware of your defects, MBU, I'll just get straight to the point. We placed Ivan Zahn and Asai in the simulation room. They've been here for the past few days. In the process, they were modified several times, including procedures that allowed you to take control of Ivan Zahn. Control? That's what you're doing now. However, as an MBU, you can't just control anyone. You're also unable to choose your target for control. MBUs can only control those people who are modified. We decide who you can control. You're just a mind without a body. This is something you need to understand. Me? But I can see his thoughts. Those are just echoes from his subconscious mind. Wait a minute. Are we breaking the fourth wall? <laughs> I think I think this game is utilizing fourth wall breaking as like part of the story. I think that's what's going on. Sorry, pay no heed. As long as you're in control, it won't pose any problems. Your assignment is to control this man, use him to draw the information we need. From your conversation, I've already confirmed that they were once in possession of one of our key assets. I need to know the coordinates for where it's hidden. I think you're in certain zones, brain and are trying to act how they would. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I think we're like, we're part of the story, like us. Well, not us, but specifically me. I will bring Albert back and you'll get me the coordinates. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. Their package was initially smuggled out of this facility. I need you to ask them where they hid it. That's all. I'll be borrowing that. I'm showing you Albert's size data here. As you can see, 80% of his organ suffered severe failure after the accident. He's alive purely due to Section 13's regenerative technology. In short, it took us some effort for us to keep him alive. I will not let that effort go to waste. I have two options to choose from. One, I let you do the work and obtain the information I need. Our side lives and returns to society with Ivan Zahn, where they may become our pawns again at any time. Two, I dismantle Albert's mind and take the information I need. That means he will die, and I will lose a potential pawn. I still have expectations for you, even if you are defective. Listen, just get me the coordinates. I don't care how you do it. I will be observing. If anything goes wrong, I will end this assignment. What happens when the assignment is terminated? That is not information you need to know. It will happen if the target leaves or becomes overly emotional. You just need to focus on your assignment. When you're ready, sit here and wake up Albert. Begin. Press tab to read minds? What the? What is this? Sit down and try to find out where the target is hidden.
Oh man, I'm kind of confused. Uh, I, I passed out? It's okay, he only fell asleep. That's so, I guess I was too exhausted. But I had this splitting headache, damn. My memories are a mess. I can't remember anything, clearly. Ask me something, might kicks up my memories. How did you hide the package? His eyes wandered. I've seen that expression before. He feels guilty, but why? That, like we always do. Dodging the question? No. What's there to dodge? I was just surprised that you're asking about it. I told you. That's how we've been doing it the whole this whole time. You know what I mean. After we seem the goods, we usually send them by drone to a safe location. The flight paths are pre-programmed to minimize detection. Okay, I don't think there's anything seriously wrong with my head. But since we're on the subject, I have a question. You once told Alex a story when you were drunk. It was about how you sold information to the cops to get one of our guys out of jail. That's not something I boast about. I should drink less. Is it true? Can something like that be arranged? It can as long as you have something to give them. The key is to grant them small favors every now and then to keep them in your pocket. Once you have the connections, anything can be arranged. Can the cops really negotiate a deal like this? Information in exchange for our freedom? Maybe. Why do you want to know? Nothing. I'm just curious. It's only possible with the right connections. Ah, is that so? Then would it even be po would it be possible even without the right connections? Have you ever someone succeeding without them? Without connections, you'd just be turning yourself in. Wait, this kid. What are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing. Sorry. I was just going on a tangent. Oh right, the door. Wait, you hacked the password, right? Can we get that door open now? What if I say no? What? Why? It seems to be malfunctioning. A malfunction? Why now? Ah, uh, shit, we were this close. This close. You even had the password. And you deal with it like it's nothing? We got so close with the passer, but now... Can you try it again? Let me take a closer look. I might be able to fix it. How about it? Give it another try? Yeah, okay. Good, I'll leave it to you then. I don't know, to be honest, chat. I don't know who's good and who's bad. Workstation? Huh? Just keep trying things. Return to main menu, slack function. Please, user, perform the assignment. Do not waste time. This is your final warning. Wait, what the hell? It's like it's talking to you. Was that a recorded message? Maybe we'll get something different this time. Return to main menu. Select function. I'm going to deny. Shutting down. Wait. Wait, I didn't even shut it down. What? Did you shut it down? No. Huh? Then... Why did it... I... I guess it must be broken. Let's just give up. We can chill for a bit and think about something else. So... I'm 
so confused. Insert we are to baddies quote. <laughs> Begin session? So, what now? It's like we're back at square one. My brother were here, he'd come up with a way to get out of this. I wonder how, what he's doing right now. He said he wasn't in danger when you checked the display. Hmm? Wait, why is the display over here now? Did you move it? I can kind of make out what's going on it. His brother is dead. Oh. Ah. Uh, it says he's dead. You knew from the get go, didn't you? I was just going to wait until he was ready. I just. Why would you lie to me? I wanted you to wait until you were more prepared. You ready? How am I, am I supposed to be prepared? He's my brother. You. Why? I need to see a doctor. I need to go see him. I need to see him with my own eyes. That's it? Oh! Wait, what the hell? Stop. I've seen enough. What are you doing? Deliberate sabotage? No. No, it's not true. Maybe a little. Maybe... I'm being rebellious. Why would you tell him that? You're defective. I should have known this would have happened. But this series of events was not what I expected. I'll just have to get what I need by force. Before I dismantle his mind, his body might still be of use. Check the top of that cabinet for a blue detector. I need its serial number. I inject Albert with that. Why would you do that? That's none of your business. Go check, quickly. So you want me to get this blue one? Actually, I don't even remember what he wanted. <laughs> Was it the red or the blue one? I can't find it. It's the blue one. Top of the cabin next to the door. Hurry up. Oh? E25. E E04. We're gonna play a little bit of trickery. E25 is the red one. Okay, okay. Very good. There you go. Start the injection. It's done. Retreat to the door. The test will now begin. He's got the red one instead. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. Very good. Oh! Um, I was not expecting that. Good. That's the kind of reaction speed I expect from a salt type MBU. Effective. You're much more useful in situations that require brute force. Ah, I... Check out Albert's situation, then come here and report to me. Oh, 
Oh, he's not dead? But I, the things I did, how could I know? Wait, so the red might have saved them. What if I did the blue? Oh my gosh. I wonder, I imagine choices matter in this game. So? Oh. Hmm. I don't know what to choose. I'll say he's dead. Very good. I've had enough. Alex. Albert. I've all the dad I need. No. Absolutely not. Wait. Do you notice any anomalies? Why did I do that? I had to follow orders, follow orders so I... Ivan Zahn's nervous impulse are very turbulent. Although sound or good procedure tends to be more unstable. I should have taken better care of him. I told him I wouldn't allow anything to happen. Hmm, I'm seeing spikes in anxiety and depression. My hands, Albert's bones cracking. So, is Ivan Zong serious the snake? I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill him. He wants to, oh? He wants to kill you. Oh! Hmm, looks like I didn't need to ask. At this point, he's gonna fry his own brain. This is fascinating data for research in psychic dismantlement. It's done. What a nuisance. No, not like this. I'll never. I'll never forgive you. Oh! You piece of shit. I'll remember you. Oh my gosh. I'll remember you, no matter how many times you wipe my memory. I'll remember your disgusting face. I'll remember everything you made me do. Everything, I'll remember how you owe me your life. Just wait, I'll... His resistance was stronger than I expected. I have to admit, I often underestimate these humans. Wait, what? These humans? But we're down here. Wait, did you see that? She like, this person right here. Oh, you can't see the mouse, but the person above me? She like, glitched out. It's time to settle things. And you, I performed the check. You gave me the wrong zero number. I will ask once, answer carefully. Look, she, you see it? Oh my gosh, she's like, She's like bugging out. Was that your intent? It was an accident. Is that so? I don't believe that. In any case, you've disrupted my work. Perhaps you had another agenda, but it doesn't matter. Now I must destroy both you and Albert. You did this to yourself. No? Oh? What? That's what I said. How did you... What are you? Oh! Oh my! I killed them. All of them. You free. No need to obey them. Give you a new body. Live out your own will. This is yours, but also his. Wait, I might like this game. Wait, that was the tutorial? <laughs>
Wait, who? Who's this? Oh my gosh. Hmm? You're home. Why'd you turn off the lights? It's bad for your eyes, you know? Were you waiting for me? Yeah. Why else? Oh. Is that so? Are you guys gonna have sex? Looks like you're already dressed to go. Hmm. You can change and see your, your work uniform when we get to the farm. Oh! So? How are you? How are you doing? Ready for the new job? Already. I'm glad you're so reliable, J <gasps> Jason. Wait a minute. Freddy versus Jason? Dead by Daylight? I'm a Dead by Daylight, but... <gasps> Jason confirmed? That's reassuring. If there's anything on your mind, you can always tell me about it. You can share any burden with me. Okay? By the way, there's a new notice from the management committee. They're replacing the floor tiles. And... The entrance hall. She was so disappointed that <laughs> they weren't going to fuck. Yeah, kind of. They just need authorization from every resident. You got the authorizer, right? Can I get it from you later? Sure. Thanks. Phew. They're finally about to start working on that. It took me three, no, four months to convince these people to do it. You lost a lot of awesome. A lot of sleep over it. I just have to do up a lot of bureaucracy. Why did you put yourself out like that? Someone else would have taken care of it. I'm glad I kept at it. Because it looks like we're finally getting some progress. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, are you really Jason? Why aren't you nagging me about being a busy body? I wanted to. She really doesn't need to tire herself out like this. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Huh? Really? You really are a bit different today. Wait, did we just hit- We- Oh my gosh, we just ruined someone else's life. Can I say something? Depends on the question. Then forget about it. You're probably not in the mood to answer. No, no, come on, ask. Are you upset that I insist on sending these meetings on my own? On your own? Yeah, you wanted to come with me. I said I wanted to do this on. Are you so upset about it? Hmm? Not at all. Why would I be upset? No, not really. Phew, that's good. I was worried about being too insistent. I know you, you work differently. I don't want to see you again soon in arguments, so I took care of it, of it by myself. Just let me handle these things. That Mr. Shen can be pretty harsh with his words. I was worried that if you went into the meetings, you'd be a bit difficult. Am I like that? <laughs> yeah, remember when our neighbor tried to tell us about the scheduled power outage? Mr. Shen looks so scared when he saw your expressions. Sometimes he can really look like a mean guard dog. Arf Ew, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> what was that? Trying to be cute? That won't work on me. I'm a cat person. I didn't think the stoic Jason could bark like that. This feels kind of... How do I put it? You? But I like it. Well, that was a good chat. She got taller. What the heck? I am so dizzy right now. This feels... No. You're not going to kill this person, are you? Oh my gosh. I was busy the whole afternoon, so I barely had a chance to talk today. Busy? Today? I spent a long time fixing the errors in the system because there wasn't a vision system. I wasn't used to it. She promised she'd... She promised me she'd dress today. It's kind of nostalgic, though. It's been a while since I did repairs manually. Usually just run things through the company's troubleshooter. Oh. Uh, I... So you did go work today. Wait, let me explain. I really, really didn't go to work. I actually did a lot of relaxing things today. From fuck to kill. The duality of Aika. <laughs> You know, entertainment and stuff. All sorts of stuff. Because I promised you that I'd take a break this afternoon. So I, so I, uh... Okay, sorry. I went to help Auntie Sai again. She needed some help to reset 
her delivery system. She's an old lady running a food center and she doesn't know how to fix it. Her son is never home to help her with the automated delivery system. She'd be sorry. I did promise I'd take a break, but doing this is what I have to do for. I think it counts. Fran loves helping others, but she can get way over her head. She needs to rest. I don't want to. I don't want her to be over her. Are you mad? I just want you to relax and take it easy. Okay, I am relaxed. And Prince of out reports at the farm, recalibrating a Class A3 fulfillment assignment. Our fulfillment system is much more therapeutic. I still like tinkering with these simpler machines. Ever since that promotion, I've had to deal with the most annoying creatures day in and day out. I'm talking about people. In case you're not catching my drift. <laughs> I got it the first time. Huh? Then I was wrong. Sorry. Oh, right. About that thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I'm all prepared. What thing tomorrow? Well, it's the... I thought... Never mind. I must have gotten it wrong or something. Uh, don't worry. Wasn't I... Oh? When you wear a mask, they are calling a farm kid. So it must be like an anniversary. Give me like 50 minutes. Tops. I'll be quick. You don't have to rush. Don't worry. I'll be very efficient. It'll be quick. I just want to watch the sp- Oh, right. I'm looking for this scene I need to bring to work later. Can not we find it? It's a quantum- What's all this high-tech stuff? A what? Already. Thanks. I believe it should be... Maybe it was under, under the living room table next to the laptop. Or in the closest... Or in the closet next to the door. Or the cabin next to the sofa. Uh, just look around for it. Thanks. Love you. Can I shower now? Love you too. <laughs> Alright. It's more just going to be... In Can we go in? Can we go in? Jason? Was that you? Was it? Can we shower together? <laughs> you what? <laughs> What's gotten into you? You're normally too embarrassed by stuff like that, see? But not now, I mean. Look at the time. I'm almost done too, pervert. What an achievement for being a pervert. Oh my gosh. Should I be proud of that? A path? Sup all? Hey, how's it going? Art artisan biscuit tins? Oh my goodness. This must be... <laughs> Just keep standing out there like that in the bathroom. Quantum key generator. Path and locks? Oh, you can run. You're on a PO8? What? I said I found your hard drive. Sorry, you sound you want your shampoo? I found your hard drive. I was way off. Sorry, that just slipped my funny thing. She trolled me. Oh my goodness. I told you I couldn't hear you properly. Just hand it to me later. Thanks. Excuse me, but can you keep the noise down? Hey, take it easy. Honey? And you are? Wow, what happened? You're just gonna pretend you don't know us? Calm down. So sorry, Miss. So sorry, Mr. Dai. We're from downstairs. We came over to say hi when we moved in last month. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm gonna insane over the racket or anything. 
It wouldn't be that long. If you don't move the furniture around at night? We're not moving anything, huh? How's that possible? I can hear noises from your house. I choked you. It's, it's probably not coming from Mr. Dai. It's coming from Mr. Alu on the other side. He said he was moving soon, remember? Huh? Really? Yes. Well, why didn't you say? I've been saying this whole time. Oh, well then. Wow, I'm so sorry. Looks like it's my bad, huh? That's fine. We're okay now. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. So sorry about that, Mr. Dai. My wife can be a bit tactless. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. I apologize. Until next time. Good night. Tiny hacker? <laughs> she said it's the first time her father commented. It looks a bit tacky, but she was adamant about putting it there. Oh my... We're getting so much fan service. Literally. So where did you find a hard drive? Under the table. How did you get there? Ah, oh, must have slipped out when I left. My bag was opened by an I dropped it. You're amazing. How did you know to look back there? You're not the kind of player... I'm very suspicious. I am very suspicious that we're definitely breaking a fourth wall here. You're the kind of player who manages to unlock all the secret routes. What are you trying to imply here, huh? Hand it to me. Thanks. I'm not losing anymore. This thing's important. I'm almost done. Just gotta dry my hair and send off a couple of emails. Give me a few minutes. That's a cool hair dryer. What? Is it? This one's an older model. It still has to fly around. Wait, what? It still has to fly around? Now it's all about the ones that can dry your hair instantly? Dry your hair instantly? <laughs> How about this? Let's see, to control the house appliance. You can actually let it auto detect without any control anything, but she doesn't she doesn't like feeling being watched. She removed the detectors. The previous ones had installed. Hi, hello. So it's their anniversary tomorrow, is what I'm assuming. An intimate. Our first date. Oh, they're married. Hello there, Mr. Dai. Good evening. And you're? What? Oh, I'm your neighbor. Name's Hank Lu. We've met before a few times. Or before at a few neighbor meetings. Sorry for bothering you at this time. Hey, glad I caught you before you leave for work. I'm sorry I'd miss you. I'm here to give you a heads up about something. We'll be moving out tomorrow and there will be some noise. Franny's who works tomorrow and she's a light sleeper. So that made me think about you two working night shift. It might affect your sleep, so I was wondering. I mean, would it be a nuisance? Not only do you rent a noise suppressor from the moving company, so it shouldn't be too noisy. It's like something that gives a heads up. I think if, if you had a noise, we'd be fine. Yep, I'll take care of it. I'll ask them to slow down the bots. He never mentioned any noise suppressors. Is he really going to be that stingy? Sure, that's fine. Fine with you? Good, good. That's fine? I should ask him about the noise suppressor. Hope you get some. I don't want the noise to slip my fans to sleep. Is Mr. Is Ms. Shang home? Or is she gonna work? You gotta work harder, Mr. Dai. I always see that Miss busy. Had an hour coming back from work. That must be exhausting. She's very passionate about her job. A job's a job. That's got little to do with passion. Do you two plan on ever having kids? If I recall, Mr. Lee never married. Oh no! We'll plan for that in the near future. The near future? At your age, you should already have a plan. Let me give you some advice. We men need... 
This is what she wants to do. It's what she loves. No girl would ever want to work like that. Not only that, she's also doing night shift. That's travesty. What are you saying it's disrespectful? Watch it. How am I being disrespectful? I'm just looking. She keeps doing her night shifts. What's going to happen to their skin condition? Girls have to take care of them. Her skin act. What is this guy's issue? She needs to look pretty so you can look good in public too? I've had enough of this. I can't listen to this trouble. That's enough, sir. What's enough? I'm giving you free advice. What is that supposed to mean? You shouldn't talk about things you don't understand. How could you say that? What's so wrong about what I'm saying? She's not a trophy. Bad skin means bad health. What does it say about you? You can't even take care of your woman. No girl should turn down a chance to marry a capable husband or at home. What is this guy's issue? Oh my god. Of course. Why else do I go to the construction site every day? You think I like it there? You chose it. What's it got to do with me? You. You can't talk to me like that. Have you heard yourself talk? It's not exactly nice either. What did you say? Are you mocking me? I am. I'm a you. You're infuriating me. How dare you mock me with that ugly smile mug you here. Yeah, just keep it up. I'm not going to put up with that. You're not worth my time. Well, the feeling's mutual. What did you say? Fine, that was the last straw. I'm leaving. I said goodbye. Man, fuck that guy. What a cunt. Jason, I can't believe you actually argued with him. Grant heard every- Oh! That's going too far. He, he wasn't very nice, but he is your senior. I don't give a fuck about that. Is what I want to say. But hearing you dish it out also felt really good. I actually feel a lot better now. But next time, you can't just insult people. That was a bad example. It was cathartic. We should be on good terms with our neighbors. As for Mr. Lin, I, I guess that's okay since he's moving away tomorrow. I got so mad at what he was saying. You heard? Uh-huh. I heard everything. This place doesn't have good sound for me. So if he's snipping on the noise suppressor, I think you should. I kept questioning him. He said he could take care of the noise, but he never mentioned a noise suppressor. If you ask me, he's just looking to take advantage of us. By the looks of it, I don't think he'll be getting one. It's, it's probably what he intended. We're just unlucky to have him as our neighbor. Good thing is, he's only there until tomorrow. By the way, when he was talking about having children and stuff, you told him about plans in the near future, so... Can I look forward to these plans? Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to leak that information, but she'll never guess it's tomorrow. Should I just give a simple response? Let's find out. Hmm, really? I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, I'm missing the whole lecture. I don't want you to think that I was secret listening the entire time. That's probably what happened. Okay. That took a bit too long. I'm ready to go. Let me see. Siri is telling me... Siri! <laughs> is telling me to take the bus to get to the farm. I think the company's sh shuttle system is... I think the company's shuttle system is undergoing maintenance today. Have you gotten everything? If you're ready, let's go. I have a bad feeling about this, though. Wait, I can grab stuff? Can I grab something? Flip? Okay, dude. <laughs> Sure.
Shall we go? Sure. Let's go. By the way, there's something you said to Mr. Liu. You probably don't remember, but when you called him out for being disrespectful, that made me really happy. Oh. <laughs> you understand how much I care about you understand how much I care about my work. You know how much I devote myself to it. Are you still willing to defend my choices? I just really glad you spoke up for me. Thank you. That's she's flush. She's embarrassed. That was a little <laughs> That was a little embarrassing. All right, let's do this. Based on how everything that happened, I hope they don't perish or something. My new farm doesn't feel like such a good idea now. Doesn't need to escort me. She can stay at home. What can I do? I gotta support the poor. Oh! Thanks. Well, you're being quite genuine today. I expect you to try and convince me to stay home. I said. Oh, I see what's going on. She's being. Okay. So, what, what we can gather so far is. Francis is being, uh. being pampered a little bit too much by the. By the boyfriend. Like, trying to push the whole thing of like, she needs to be the housewife, if that makes sense. Doesn't feel much better to think we're gonna get go. At least I'd like you, at least I'd like you more this way. I. Okay, if we're all. Re Wait a minute. Those monologues we're seeing? Wait a minute. What if it's the guy that we're controlling, but we have control of the body, but we're just not able to speak? I think that's what's going on. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Those are your thoughts? No, but... Because in the beginning, they mentioned something about, like, you're, you are a mind without a body. So can the same be applied the other way around? Can it be the body, but just, like, without, like, voice? Oh, we're going? Where are we going? <gasps> We're going. Ooh, look at that! They're playing games. Is that a Seven Eleven? Wow! Wow! Booba. Wait, did you hear that? Look there. It should be. Take notes for mapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's huge. What the heck? That should be a growl cargo ship. The city really makes you feel small and insignificant, doesn't it? I don't think it does. Is that so? I guess that's a good thing. Let's go. The bus is coming. I like this person already. Look at the cat. Ayaya. You sure you're okay? I still don't think this new job really suits you. I need a job right now. Don't force yourself into it if you don't want to. I can stay unemployed at home. I need to take some pressure off her. As a farm supervisor, I'm sure my salary is enough for the both of us. Our family needs that money. Her family needs the money? You should take some time and find something you like. I want to be able to support you. You've always been supporting me. You make me realize that you you'll always that you'll always be there to support me. That's really important to me. Really. But 
What I want to say is, I'll still support you, even if you don't have a job. I don't want you to feel like you should get a job because of that. I don't want to be a burden on you. Jason, I'm serious. It's okay, you're not being a burden. Yeah, good. The bus is so slow. Looks like the city hall must have spent must have spent their flop supplies on other districts. I guess we're all second class citizens here in Yong districts. Flop supplies? Hmm. Oh, see, right now Wan Pai's systems are controlled by AI, right? This is like public transportation, energy, communications, logistics, and so on. Oh, and of course, surveillance. The algorithm, citywide monitors, automate a lot of complicated bird. But no matter how optimized the algorithm is, it still requires a massive amount of feeding power or flaws to handle the data input. So like right now, when it's rush hour, our flops will be allocated to the busier districts. When that happens, traffic efficiency take here takes a hit. Okay, do you get it now? Yeah, I get it. Good. Oh, the bus is here. Look at a cat. I just noticed they're holding hands because they're together. Okay, I'm kind of invested in this game already. <laughs> This does not look like a farm. Phew, we are here. See those capsules over there? Those are vision shells. Then we take those to and from her. Hi, Francis. Morning. Hey, who the heck is this guy? Oh wait, that's not right. It's evening already. Let's start over. Good evening. Working night shift? Evening. He's calling Fran by her first name? No, it's just that I have some unfinished work. I see. That'd be taking one of them capsules. I would have forget. The transit station near my place is closed for maintenance. Which which station would that be? Why do you care so much? So nosy dude. Oh, he's jealous. <laughs> Fran doesn't like people asking about private matters. Is that super far away? Ah, that's kind of close. Yeah, yeah. And this gentleman is? I'm her boyfriend. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Oops. I see. I didn't know Francis was dating. Well, you, well, now you know. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's just point. What? Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. At the RP No, this is a bigger issue. Oh no, don't tell me this is like one of those secret relationships. Fran. Friends, huh? Would you, would you introduce? Sorry, this is Mr. Dai. You're funny, Mr. Dai, huh? Nice to meet you. I'm. I'm Michael. Michael Sal. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dai. Nice to meet you too. I'm off with Choji. Actually, I don't want to get going. Have a nice evening. See you around. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why did you say that you're my boyfriend? I asked specifically, you know? She did. Things will get you if you know about our relationship. My job isn't exactly a friend. <gasps> oh. They will try to hurt me at all costs. That's why I try to avoid talking about personal companies. I don't want them to come after you, especially since you're about to start working. I'm a bit quirky when it comes to privacy, you know? I should have should have not said that. Sorry, I was feeling a bit possessive, I guess. <gasps> I see. Grant seems a bit happy. 
We recovered. Chat, we recovered. Oh my goodness. Recovery, recovery. <laughs> you know what it is? Oh my gosh. Okay. We're understanding another thing. The way this guy has been thinking, the way she's been acting, this guy... So, I think what's happening is this guy's very old school, traditional. Like, you know, get the the whole shit like oh, you're a man. You have to be a man. You can't have emotions and shit like that. So he was probably very rigid and stern before we took over. So the fact that he actually opened up to his feelings and is like more emotionally connected, that's why she's happy about it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, enough about it. He's not confrontational, not, not very direct. But the fact that we're doing everything opposite and she's actually enjoying it and liking it. We are so in. Don't worry about that, Francis. You two are going to have babies sooner than expected. <laughs> Sorry. I am who I am. Why should I care so much what they might do? Forget what I asked you. Just tell them I am your girl. Holy. Oh my gosh. Damn. I am apathetic and somehow I am very good at this. I thought I could, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Just tell them I am your girlfriend. I am totally okay with it now. I like the way the game looks. Also, hello, y'all. Hey, how's it going? Oh my goodness. We're, we're like in a drama. Friend. Actually, I'm, I'm rather happy hearing you say out loud. Oh my. <laughs> oh, Francis. And I want to apologize for trying to cover it up. So I was going to clip Ica. Saying that, what does I I don't know what you mean by that? <laughs> that oh, saying what I know that's why I was like saying what. <laughs> that's terrible. I am so. Oh my gosh. My my guy, you have a, like a winner of a girlfriend. She owns up to it and like acknowledges it. Don't be my bad, forgetting what you asked me to do. But honestly, I was feeling a bit hurt back then for sure. It's not a problem at all. Really? Great. Ah, uh, but you told him our place is near Dingon Station. Please not to try to disclose personal information like that. I really care, you know? Privacy is a luxury in this day and age. I intend to keep mine. But I should have told you that before more than one time, right? This, this is not like you, J. Huh? Come on. Enough sent. Wait. I guess my girlfriend? Why, just the very thought makes me. Everyone, ban Hayden. And wahaha, laugh at Hayden. Thanks. Work, work. Time Magazine. Oh my gosh, there's so many security cameras. Are you nervous for your last round of interviews? Of course I am. Why well, wouldn't want Fran to worry about me? A little bit nervous. <laughs> Relax, just show them your everyday self. You're picked by the system. The manager can't easily veto that decision. Anyhow, you'll be okay. I trust you. I've been your manager a couple of times. She's very capable and strict, too. Always trying to do the right thing. In a sense, she single-handedly saved this farm from closure. Closure? Yeah. Here, Farm 03 is one of Vision's Corp's first plants. 
these days, there are plenty of farms with fancier hardware and higher yield, especially when competitors started to join the game in trails after they opened up the, the patents. Vision seems to be a critical supplier to the city of One Pie. Now we are just one of many. For a while, HQ was seriously thinking about closing this farm down. Really encouraging news for a new employee. But yeah, Mrs. Ye managed to turn the tables. Yield and efficiency was applied under her leadership. Considering everything, she's the perfect kind of manager. What she like as a person? Super strict. Like the other time, at a monthly meeting, she was practically slapping those representatives from HQ in the face for doing a crappy job. You heard it right, criticizing HQ. According to my assistant, those working under her should expect only worse. All right, one more thing. We don't need IDs at the farm. Just go, just go where you want to go. Cameras use facial recognition to open doors for employees. Or not, if you're not authorized. That's handy. Although being constantly identified without consent feels creepy. What if it's a new employee with no face record like me? Anyhow, the celebrator is controlled by the same ident identification system. We can't go in at the same time. I went upstairs where you don't have security clearances. What if I walk in? Huh? I never thought about that. Um, you'll probably refuse to move. Shall we try it? <laughs> Shall we try it out? Oh, you're naughty, aren't you? I'm slamming my desk. You can't hear it, but oh my god. <laughs> That's not that. What if it triggers a security alarm or something? And you don't have to worry about our after work plan. You haven't forgotten, have you? I'll take you to the roof for the stunning view. Will you let me know when you finish your work? Then I'll get you visitor access. With that, you'll be able to take the elevator all the way up. Oops, my ride's here. Something on your mind? Something on your mind? No, nothing. Good luck with the interview. Show them your best. See you around. The sexual tension between. For real. Come on, let's get the sun. Fran says she doesn't mind, so everyone can shoot. Next time we meet up with Ava Ye and Ren, I'm in Fishing Point when she's sleeping light. Go look at her office first. Maybe here? We're hiring more people. What? What for is So that someone could die of boredom on this crappy floor? Hey, you don't have to put it that way. Am I wrong? Yeah, I've heard. They say the manager designed some kind of new recruitment procedure too. Are they actually in field practice or why? No, they're doubling down on field practice. Now you must do field practice at both screening and ops? What? Field practice is a seller even for screening cannons? So they say. Poor newbies? I'm a newbie. Yo, what's up? Hmm? Who the heck are you? <laughs> Ouch, that attitude. My name's Jason, interviewee. Ah, the new guy. Looking for the manager? She's at the meeting, although by now she should be on her way back. The one's that first, our first come, first serve. Understand? I'll go in first when she comes back. You wait for your turn. I haven't said anything yet. Where's your uniform? In the backpack? No. Wait, in the backpack? I get changed. Wrap the uniform, silence you while you. Silencio? The farm itself is controlled by Sentry A, which. Oh, it doesn't recognize you and it's playing on Grant Maxwell's. Can't believe you come to the interview. Sorry to keep up the job. Thank you for your shame. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Be nice. Be nice. Now listen up. You need two things here your face and your uniform. Every uniform is unique. Baron code ever. Baron code that represents your job title and security clearance. Oh, right. So you have nothing better to do. Goes, huh? Good answer is buy me a bottle of soda. There's a vending machine. Which floor exactly? B4. Who alive? Not who alive. I mean, that's.
but you never have a story, so just a free charge for an employee of benefits. Where's the restroom? A pantry? I'm so confused. Where's, where's the restroom? I don't... I'm a little bit confused. Where's the restroom at? Oh, here. Only five times per day? Oh gosh. Okay. Then we need to... He said it was B4. And he wants... Uh... Hey, you want a soda too? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Right? I'm having a hard time deciding. Only soda soon. It's almost empty. Trouble. Sorry, I stopped reading because I, I got so invested. <laughs> Every time I have trouble making a decision, I have someone else to do it. Then I'll just go the other way, huh? Just in case they want to keep the other good stuff for themselves. Eh, sorry, I did want the other one, huh? I knew it. You're a tricky one, aren't you? Alright, I'll let you have what you want. <gasps> Thanks, bro. I'm sorry for you see. <laughs> Winner! It pays to be nice. Shit. Styling and freestyling. We just went to be honest. That's all you had to do. Wow. We had to go B4 anyways. Which is... I hope we don't miss the interview. In my part, the poor margin and contracts is flexible. In fact, in fact, there's this ample wiggle room as long as we do not commit to a specific maximum flops. The client likes flexibility. We give them flexibility. Win-win. That concludes your proposal. I hope. Now, Mr. G oh my gosh. Listen very carefully. My job is to make a profit. Indeed. On the other hand, I must uphold the rights of our contributors. We are running a business. Don't even try to lecture me on commercial operation and balance sheets. I know them better than you. That is a nice wide screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Profitability is not an excuse to abuse contributors. They are new they are our partners, not company assets. They have a right to reasonable benefits. That is the bottom line. On top of profit, a business has reputation. We must build trust. I need a bird. Okay, I'm back. Please take a closer look at these figures. Miss Yang, clearly, clearly that the juicers. Are you trying to uproot the entire system based on one quarter's performance analysis? Take your stupid proposal. Show yourself out that door. Don't let me see you again, ever. I've had enough of you and your proposal. All this nagging nonsense, week after week. Firing me, huh? Which do you think this is, 2000? Wait, what are you trying to say? <laughs> a manager is not authorized to fire people on a whim, in case you're not aware of it. Have you checked my performance record? Top of the line, in every single review. 
Good luck trying to convince the system to fire me. Don't try too hard when it comes to your rights against my rights. The system might as well fire you. Let me remind you of all the powers that you don't have. I'm more aware. If that AI is stupid enough to let you into the company, it won't be too hard to make it kick you out. Now get lost. Damn. Oh my gosh. Good. Very good. You know what? I've had enough. I should have... Oh? Go on. Keep playing the saint on your high horse. All this talk about juicer rights. It's all hypocrisy. Asking around a company, every single soul would agree with me. Mr. Hugh, you're a smart man. Heartless, but smart nonetheless. I believe you will find a successful career. Oh my. Do me a favor. Don't be one of the bad guys. The world has more than enough of them already. This world we live in, it takes a bad guy to win. For that reason, I am firing you here and now. If only if only as a statement that a bad guy will not win, not under my leadership. However, I will endorse you to the the Fenquan farm. You have found a dead end here, but over there you will start new, with much more opportunities. I um, just be a better man. That is all I ask for you. Now, goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I got your your drink. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with their interview. <gasps> We're winning so far. How does it feel seeing the manager finding someone right before your interview? Feels terrible. A little bit nervous. <laughs> Is that so? Good. I appreciate honesty. <gasps> I'm winning. I'm winning. <laughs> okay. You should see us good news. One more vacancy in the team. Now your chance has increased. But how did you get in when I was in session with someone else? Silence so should have locked you out. Probably trying to prank me, knowing how much I hate it. Uh, why the hate? Because it's making everyone who works here nuts. Okay, enough chit chat. Come here. Look, she's got a little crystal thing. Jason's eye, is it? Yes. Great. Sorry, I don't have a spare chair. You might have to stand for a while. I don't mind. There's an <laughs> there's an empty chair over there. I see that you put on your uniform. Good. I like people who take the initiative. You are off to. <gasps> I am winning. I should think that <laughs> fired guy for setting expectations so low. All right, let's cut to the chase. You want a job? I want someone who can do a job well. Let's start from the basics. One by City operates on a central AI, controls everything. The AI runs on a computational power, flops, and colloquial terms that comes from this flop farm. In other words, if we take one day's break, the whole One Pie goes offline. I trust you are all aware of that. That doesn't sound right. Yes. I see that you are all prepared for it. I'm winning. Thank you, friend, for all those talks. <laughs> about work at home. What I just said was an overstatement, intentionally made to test your knowledge. Truth is, there's abundance of flops farms, 23 of them around one pile alone. Out of these, 18 beat us by generation in terms of hardware. In other words, one pie doesn't need us. Do you get that? We are replaceable, and our competitors will try everything to make us obsolete. Will you let that happen? Suppose you're hired? I'll give my best shot. Best shot, worst shot, I don't care. Be honest. As long as you deliver what I need, I call it a good. Oh man, I should get hired here. <laughs> Farm 03, aka Silence, used to be a plant of cutting edge technology. One, one pay? Oh, right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> that was 20 years ago. These days, every single flop farm beats us in hardware. Silencio is a thing of the past. Refuse Refusing to let go. What we lack in hardware, we try to make up for it. Software. 
When other farms try to make more profit by cutting back on con contributor benefits, we go the other way by treating our contributors as well as we can. We care about their well-being, financially and physically, to secure a reliable supply of flops. But then we'll get on cost side. You see a problem, you point it out. Good. Oh my goodness, I'm getting hired. <laughs> Indeed, it won't look good. Blowing a short turn. We keep the practice for two, for two years or more, there is a visible difference. While other farms are losing contributors, contributor efficiency, ours is going up. There, enough about the company. Now let's talk about you. Your presence in this office means Silencia has decided to hire you. It's, inform it's an informed decision based on every record about you that can be located. Is it up to Silencio? Yeah. Almost all companies these days are making hires decision with AI. Vision Corp is no exception. You have been serving in the army. Not your fault for lacking such. Oh, okay. So that explains why he, why before we took over, why the girl was the way she was, and why everything was like such a surprise. This person is an army person, so he must have been very like stiff and rigid back then. The record shows that you worked as a security guard after discharge from the army. The employer was airtight security. I thought they had AI powered recruitment too. Anyways, information is power, Mr. Lai. Corporations such as Visions have access to everything they want to know. As long as the recruitment procedure is concerned, this interview is not required at all. However, I do not trust AI and the system stands for. I believe people cannot, cannot be boiled down to figures and records. For a second, she sounded super serious. This job is not a pleasant one. You will be dealing with some chorus people. In a sense, you will see the underbelly of the society, the part that everyone wants to sweep under rug. Oh, man. <laughs> Isn't this our today's society, pretty much? I have interviewed many candidates better than me, or so their records suggest. Most of them can't face such reality. It doesn't happen overnight. Day in, day out, they pick up what they see and fuel on the job. Misery, anxiety, cynicism, and worse. Tiny changes add up. A few months later, you wouldn't recognize them. It's as if the same body is hosting another soul. Okay, let's pause for a moment. Is it me? Or are they like... This can't be a coincidence that they're all hinting at the same thing. In the previous one, I think it was the girl. She was like as if we were a player unlocking secret routes. Then with like, there is no way. The point of this interview is to make sure, I hope, that we will not end up like them. First of all, I need you to take her, take a test drive, see if you can get along with this job. For the next couple of days, you will be on a field practice, working as if you are already hired. Not that, I said, as if. Your employment depends on the performance of this field practice. Then we notice they mentioned about field practice. Why field practice? Being a practical person, I'd like to know that every purchase is worth its price. Today, you're assigned to the screening division. Tomorrow, ops the So remember that. Screening division and then ops division. But I was not. I thought it was candidate for ops division only. I thought it was. You are, but like I said, Silencia is in charge of deciding what candidates are qualified for. For not me. You applied for both the divisions. Silencio thought you're fit for ops, but I want you to try both. Maybe you're good for neither. Let's see. Keep in mind that today and tomorrow will be critical for your career. Outlook. Now head to the screening office and find the lead. Wayne Shang. He will walk you through the rest. Screening office, Wayne. Bruce Wayne. If there are any questions, now it's time to ask. How am I doing so far? <laughs> straightforward, aren't you? Damn, I could have been more diplomatic. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Being straightforward is a rare... I'm getting... 
Oh my goodness, chat. I'm getting hired. Oh my goodness. Phew, I thought it was done for. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I have no idea yet. If you're wondering how I feel about you, I feel nothing. Sad good news with badges. Well, I could go either way. I mean, obviously you can screw up, but I really haven't earned any points either. From here on, it's all up to you. Show me your worth. Any more questions? Uh, where's the screening ops? Outside my office on the right hand. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. You, stop there. Who are you? Jason Dye, the new guy. New guy, huh? Nice. Am I supposed to trust you like that? Be nice, Lawrence. Silencio has opened the door for him, meaning he does belong here. Wait, do you see a chat? Oh my goodness. On the right side. Oh, you guys are blogging. There's an anime figure. Could be a system bitch. And maybe he's a hacker. Jason Dye is the new recruitment. Nice to meet you. I'm Edith Ye. Chinese? Oh. <laughs> Everything's in Chinese. Like, I, even the names. So I, <laughs> I read Chief as Chinese. Chief Administrative Assistant <laughs> at the Screening Division. Chief in the title? Shy Impressor? Yeah, it's carrying Chief in the title doesn't mean I'm your boss. How can I relax when she reads my mind like that? Truth be told, my job's not to take care of trivia matters for auntie. Oh? Trivia matters like carrying bald victims out of her office? So you do it the other day. Ahem. December 2. Jean Sai. Reason of that? Asking for a raise for the fourth time. <laughs> huh? That's what it was about? Yeah, sometimes nothing can be brutal. Brutal in a physical sense. Ha, your experience first, first hand on your first day. How did it go, you guys? Seen the savage side of Bunty already? She looks pretty nice. Seriously, I should. She wanted to kill me the first time we met. I'd call it bullshit. But again, your face suggests you mean it. <laughs> Was she like actually nice to you? Is it even possible? Unfair. No, that's not good. You're not, you're not one of the coven. To join a club, you must acquire mental trauma bestowed by empty. What? <laughs> Don't count me in. I'm not part of a coven. Hi, Mr. Dai. I'm Kathy Hisai. Technical support. Kathy's a tech witch. She fixes stuff in a blink of an eye. Or in a blink. Like the other day, I slipped a whole bottle of soda over my computer. She fixed it before I could clean up the table. I asked logistics for a replacement. Not much fixing, really. And that should be QQ's responsibility. Don't ask me that time. Ah, uh, you're awfully modest. It's like an anime. Oh my goodness. The replacement cost comes out of cost, which should have been deducted from his salary. Please double check, Ida. Sure. What? Nobody told me that. You must be joking, right? I haven't received my first paycheck yet. Kathy, tell me you didn't mean it. Come on, it's just a quick fix. Please? <laughs> Anyways, welcome aboard. I'm guessing Nancy told you to find a team leader for further guidance. She mentioned someone called Wayne Zhang. I see. Unfortunately, the team lead is not here at the moment. I think he's running errands for someone. Why that team lead should be immune to such requests. All right, here's how it goes. I'll show you to, to your cubicle. This way, please. Make yourself comfortable. I've cleaned it up. Hope you like it. She did one heck of a job. The girl before you left the cubicle on a mess? Talking about mess, just look at QQ's stats. I pretend you didn't say that. Because I'm a bigger person. Big in the, big in the dimensions apartment. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell? Tyler. That is not nice to say. Oi. 
<laughs> you bunch, shouldn't you got your nice side? Sorry, they are like that. Breaking all the time. It's okay, they are fun. Are they? <laughs> as long as you don't feel uncomfortable. So, let's quickly go over the agenda for today. You will participate in two procedures. The routine work, consultation, and signing. Are you familiar with your artwork? Uh, not really. I see. No problem. That is to be expected. You're selected by a recruitment outcome, after all. You're not supposed to know everything before starting. Don't worry. I'll bring you up to speed. This won't take long. Sure, very appreciate it. Ahem. Simply put, a lot of people come to this farm looking for work on a daily basis. The overwhelming majority of them are from slums, not the best part of society. For this reason, we must... Eddie? Sorry, I wandered off a bit. Back to the subject, they're not like you. They work, the work they look for is for flop contribution? And I even certain they knock them out, hook up their brains to- Wait. They use actual human brains as basically RAM and computing power. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so these service computing units replace replacing expensive processors. Right, exactly like Tyler said. Computational power or flops is a critical resource in the age of AI. Servo skulls. <laughs> Consultation means we must meet potential contributors, uh, contribute contributors in person. The point is to verify their physical, and mental well-being. Sign contracts with pro appropriate candidates. That's about the size of it. I should find someone and ask about the fine details of the job. One more piece of advice. Be someone I know, Bounty. The outcome of your consultation will count a lot towards your interview. You should tread very, very carefully. Is the stage assigned to you? Of course. We can't afford any issues with screening. A new recruitment thing, Juan Farin. Let, let a dope head slip through? Got almost died on a rack. Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> What the? Jeez. That said, your consultation sessions have been staged. This is not good news for you. It means you must find the correct answer or you have no place in this office. Tire, sh you're stressing him out. Am I wrong? No. You take care, dude. Auntie likes to set traps in these stage chests. You have any questions? Ask me anytime. Yeah. Do you have time? I reckon you're laying several reports about that. This guy here needs help. Reports could wait. I know procrastination is a thing, but what would Mr. Lau say when you keep missing deadlines? I, uh, I'll get it done. Good. He just got walked on a leash. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Jason. Take your time getting familiar with things. Ah, one more thing that you should know. Since today is field practice, you only have consultation appointments with four candidates. I sent you their profiles. Check your computer when you have time. I'm afraid the session can can start until Wayne comes back. Might take well. He left not very long ago. Take your time going through the candidate profiles. Or you go around, around the office getting to know your future colleague. That's it. See you later. If you need any help, my desk is over there. Okay, she, she does something for me. I gotta talk. I gotta, I gotta talk to her? What would the house do, Mr. What would you like to do? Uh, database. Back to home? Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Hank Lou? Wait, 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 wait. This is the brother that died. Registration, Wan Pai. Gender, male, 59. Unmarried, slight bipolar disorder, symptoms, overexertion, 610. 
Female in 22, description of marriage during his ceremony. Perfect health. So Sydney. So Sydney, Yvonne, and So Sydney, Yvonne, the guy, and then the dead guy. Oh, human resources. He's a team lead now. Thanks, Kathy. Oh, he ran. Take a breath, dude. Did you run up the stairs or what? I'm, I'm looking for a new guy? Yes. He's right here at the assignment <laughs> to John's cubicle. Thank you, Kiki. I'll go back to work. I'll go back to work, Wayne. Sure thing. Keep up the good work. Oh. Oh, this guy's like all time. <laughs> My chance of screening is large depends on this guy. Gotta impress him. Hi. Are you okay? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Let me catch my breath. Sorry, I'm late. Bad timing. Caught on prepared. I don't mind. Thank you. I'm glad you're a nice guy. It's quite outgoing. Last parents seem to not long ago. Still getting used to it. Hold on. I need another breather. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Wang Zhang. You must be Jason. How do you feel? How are things going so far? He's ex he's excessively affluent. Hi, box maid. Not bad. Is that so? Great. I thought some people pulled pranks while I was at the office. I don't know who this someone could be. Any ideas, QQ? Not me. I'm the living I am the living definition of reliable. Eh? Then it has to be me? Did I do something wrong? Relax. Back to your work, Lawrence. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, being team lead for only this long, sometimes I have authority issues. No kidding. I don't see much. I don't see much authority in him. I like the vibe here. <laughs> Good to know. I almost forgot. Were you surprised? I mean, applying for OZ, but since the screening for field practice. Very much a surprise. We were trying out this new recruitment model. And you're a very first test subject. Are you miss yet? Should be streamlining the employee on onboarding process. Having hands on experience on both sides. We are very close to the cops. Very close for real? Hey, QQ. They want to work with us. I guess. I guess this is more like it. Tell you what, Jace, sir. Jace? <laughs> they, they're giving him nicknames already. That's so cute. Consider yourself lucky getting a job at screen. Those people at ops are... Hey, stop it. I see you don't get to them. Right. <laughs> we have conflicts with Barry every now and then. Well, let's leave it for another day. They're scheduled for free practice off tomorrow. I don't want to give you the wrong ideas. About Miss CI ideas for double field practice? I, I have my own guesses. I suppose you're just trying to to bridge the gap between our divisions. For the company's perspective, business division divisions should be insulated from each other as much as possible for con confidentiality concerns. Oh, do you have any reader profiles or rating for me? I went through all of them. <laughs> Fantastic. You're very efficient. I've gone through the profiles too. Today's constellation is going to be very easy. There's a perfect candidate with 1010. You know what I'm talking about? Sydney. Bingo. You have done your homework very well. <laughs> One point. When you're ready for consultation, find me at my desk. I'll take you to the consultation lobby. You have some time to spare. Take the opportunity to make your coins. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so fucking good at part of my language. They might have some helpful tips for upcoming sessions. <laughs> That's it then. Um, hey, wait, can I borrow you for a minute? What the heck does he want? Uh, something on your mind? 
Okay, really. I went over a previous conversation again. To be honest, I was sort of a dick. I think about it. The worse I feel. I can't live with myself if I don't apologize. I'm sorry. This guy's surprisingly nice? No worries, I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you. I Lawrence Shang. Nice new guy too. Started here last week. You are? Jason Dai. Jason Dai, huh? And we are going, right? Okay, you must die then. Just you should Oh sh this is chat, this is the start of my anime. So what made you want to work here? For the money, of course. Uh what about you? <laughs> and me? Seems a bit shocked for what? Um about that. Why so nervous? Nothing. You're full of questions, Jason. I'm just that kind of guy. I see. Say, it's not as funny a colleague as my trying to change the subject. Why keep Oh, he's there for money. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Please, I don't want you to feel bad. Got it back to work. <laughs> he's hiding something. This is so anime. Look, they all have like anime hair and everything. Wow. Hello. Hello. If you say anything, hear those. You youngsters don't know as much as you think. Youngster? I'm almost 30 years old. I wouldn't call myself a youngster. Right. Youngsters don't like to be called you. Exactly my point. Relax. Says your job is not easy. Don't think otherwise simply because everyone in this office seems nice. The team lead included. I'm not counting on an easy job. Great. When he's young for a team lead too. Too young for his own good. He hasn't learned how to lead yet. Here it comes the, it comes again. Age talk. The one thing that he cares about is being a nice guy. To that end, he's trying very hard to impress everyone who works under him. Being nice is a virtue, all right, but it depends on timing and occasion. In his case, he's not able to play the bad guy when history calls for him. As a result, our division's performance has been constantly dropping. You know as much as I do that this is company, not kindergarten. I'm asking you to adopt realistic expectations. Like I said, it's not an easy job. Don't take this as a hard warning. I want you to bear uh I want you to bear uncertainty in mind. This office may have great vibe, but in a position for you is not guaranteed yet. I like this I like this shoes this geezer, sort of. Blunt, a bit arrogant, and all this age talk, but very much sincere. Thank you for that advice. Yeah. Now your turn. Any questions? What do you do here at the office? I'm in charge of night shifts, making sure everyone meets their deadlines. Everyone includes the team. <laughs> this guy oversees the overseer? Including me? No? You're not one officiator. Oh, okay. Any more questions? All clear. That's crazy. Look at that chat. Their magazines are like screen powered and stuff. Oh my. I guess that's it? I can talk to him again. Any advice to screening? Let me think. Oh, I'd say go for the younger ones. Are you sure? Most any I go with hasn't failed yet. You're going to mean healthier, better performance as a contributor. They usually get better ratings for free screening too. It's quite confident. Anything else? What do you do? Ah, consultant like Tyler. Feel free to call me Senpai. I bet it's news. Anything else? The dialogue is weird because he just introduced himself, but then he's talking like he just met him again. Quinson? Hi, hello, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I was drinking something. You don't know that. You don't have to be a pig to know a pig is a pig. The thing is... Alright, Tyler's the judge. 
Get me out of this, man. Is Hop Saints a bunch of snobby bastards? They're not very cooperative, for sure. Being mean and hostile and all. I personally find it hard to like them. You guys are biased. I least try make knowing them before making judgments. Kathy, I know you don't feel comfortable hearing that. But don't defend Ops. They don't deserve you. You're not responsible for what they did. Wait, what they did? But... Asking me for support? Right. You're too new, Jace, sir. Soon you'll find out there's nothing you know. But you hardly know anything about Ops yourself, QQ. I do. I deal with them every now and then. Every time... Every time... It's a test of my... Oh, every time is a test of my patience. Try making friends with them? Do I need to befriend every single douchebag for long? I don't mean that. I see what you mean. The thing is, getting to know people takes time, and the gang of ops doesn't deserve my time. Say, are, why are you signing JSTAR? I'm not taking sides. I just think we need to know them. To be fair, he thinks so because he have not dealt with them yet. For me, everyone else in this office, we've had enough. But honestly, they're much better paid anyway. It's not like we're doing them any real harm. He's just too blunt, Kathy. Fundamentally, he's right. I see that you don't feel comfortable saying bad things about ops, especially when you sometimes work with them. Hi, hello, how are you doing? It's awkward to be caught in the middle of it. Somewhat, yeah. Okay, I'll put a leash on my mouth. Huh? Kiki the big mouth is so quick to give in? I just want to upset my friend over a bunch of rotten bastards. That's good. Alright guys, it's just me overacting. It's nothing really. Oh, hmm. Was I too mean? <laughs> Not exactly mean, but sneaky enough. I'll apologize sooner or later. Sigh. Can I say crap about off? Can I say crap about off these days? Hello. She didn't hear me. Uh, I will uh leave you be. Eh? Oh. Um. Hi. Hello. Sorry I didn't hear you. It was too focused. Can I help you? What do you do here? I'm an engineer. Um, I take care of software feature requests and service tickets from screening. I don't understand. You don't? Uh, mm. Give Kathy a break. She's not very good at explaining things. Anything else I can help you with? Reading at this job. About this job, huh? Hard to say. The pay is meh. Long work hours. Get caught back to work while I'm off work all the time. <laughs> Sounds terrible, but everyone here is nice. Wayne tries to reduce my workload, tell me to offload to others. But you can't. You have to take care of everything, though. No? Right. Kathy can't trust people with her work. I'm not like that. Ahem. <laughs> Anyhow, that's how it is. Though my mean is to die. Every person is different, and you have different responsibilities. My opinion doesn't apply. Understood. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else I can help you with? I have no more questions. I can talk with this guy now? Hello. Oh, hi. Hey, I remember you. The guy who helped me choose my soda, right? This is the guy! <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible with faces. Terrible with depths. I remember you. 120? 320? Whatever, sending money over in a bit. Hey, you have any questions for me? Flop contributions? The long version or the short version? Uh, I prefer the long. Great, I like the inquisitive minds. Here he goes. This modern world AI is powered by AI systems. Corporation, government depends on them for virtually everything. Unsurprisingly, they want and need these systems being increasingly powerful. Very systems require better pr processors. Those with com computational power measured in millions of petaflops? In other words, punitive expensive. Flop farms were introduced to solve this very problem. Vision Corp started it all. They found that as AI replaced humans, employment through the roof and human labor became um, cheap. They came up with this technology that combines humans into makeshift supercomputers. I'm sure you can imagine the scale we were talking about. Tons of brains. Thanks to AI, we never 
We are never short of unemployed and impoverished people. But they are. Just think about it. The shared computing applied to human brains, a vast network of organic processors. Most importantly, the setup saves huge hardware costs. The employed, they're willing to work for peanuts. We call these people flop contributors or juicers because, you know, they sell brain juice for money. The business of the Smart Organization Corp. as a whole is to power AI system, the flops regenerate. As Harry if you want to know more, he deals with juicers. Oi, language. Chill. Eddie can't hear us. Oh? It's nothing. Some consider we're juicers. <laughs> oh no! That's so unfortunate. XQCL. <laughs> I started with as a neutral word, calling a spade a spade, brain juice a seller. But over time, the term has collected plenty of negative suggestions. Piss poor, for example. What do you think? Is it derogatory? I said it is innocent. It depends on how you intend to use it. Personally, I understand some may feel uncomfortable. Just try not to use them in public. Or you just use them in public. <laughs> Anything else you want to know? I have no more questions. Wait, I didn't ask him what he does. What do you do here? Hardware technician charged with fixing and servicing all machines. It's not like what just logistics on B7 do. Similar responsibility, different areas. The care of the seller, the scope and scale is way more than mine. The seller? What's that? I forgot you've seen you know what that's. The seller is the heart of a pot farm. That's where all juices work. <laughs> to explain what it is, let me think. Uh, I can't explain something that complicated. You'll be there for a field practice tomorrow. Find out yourself. Honestly, hardly anyone at screen ever goes to the seller? The company has strict access to the control after all? You try a rough description? No can do, because I've never been there. Kathy went there a couple of times. But you never talk about it, Kathy. Nothing to talk about. It's a terrible place. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, you're juicing it out. <laughs> Huge space. Suffocating atmosphere. That's it. We'll learn more about it tomorrow. Anything else you want to know? I have no more questions. Man, we gotta get back to his wife. Hi, can I help you? As soon as I... There, there are physical reasons, like the case that you mentioned. Drug abuse may increase the risk in flop contributions. Oh, you must be certified as other professionals. Right? There are. Medical examination is not part of responsibilities. Everyone comes to consultation already has done professional medical examination. Our job is to find out those who slip through the systems by whatever means. Pay attention to those who are visibly unwell or way too old. Catching unfit is half your job. The other half is selecting the most Efficient contributors from all candidates. Efficient? Yes. Generally, those who have survived tough life will make. Oh. With brain scans under pressure, they tend to perform excessively well when relaxed. That sounds unfit. Probably the fittest. The CA wouldn't agree with it, though. With seeing candidates as heaps of records and figures instead of holistic humans, the putting companies in before theirs? Didn't you feel that during the interview? Must be tough being her a humanist in a hundred percent didn't in a hundred percent data driven age. Alright, anyone else wanna know? Do we really have to meet the candidates and the person must get to know them, where they come from, what kind of environment they live in, etc.? These in Spanish? Oh better but I already have everything I need to know. Some, not all. If I was only show one side of them, you have, you have what they want, you know? Plus data pulled from all over the cyberspace by visions on a data. Considering the type of people we regularly deal with, some donors, with limited access to the cyberspace. I'll be surprised if vision could find anything helpful at all. So it's made, it's made worse by the fact that a lot of them are illegal immigrants, wives from citizen registration at their hometowns. And not all are registered at one pay, or one pay. Essentially, you're looking at the 
compile records of people who don't exist. Ironic, isn't it? What we like in data records we make up th through consultation. By meeting them in person, we often find critical details not documented in the records. That's basically it. Alright, anything else you want to know? How does simple or not? What do you need to streamline for efficiency? Care to hold start a conversation? Self introduction. Just hear them out, ask, then ask your questions. Our part is deciding who wants to sign a contract. It's talking about the sessions, so you might want to know this. Sometimes they will offer to show you their IDs. The thing is, everyone we meet has already been pre identified by Silencia. Just tell them there's no need if they ask for ID. So there's no need to ask for IDs. There's so many people to talk to. Hi, can I help you? How's the five here? It's um, up to per personal preference. I quite enjoy working here myself. Everyone gets along. The manager can be demanding sometimes, but that's just the way she is. I'll trust her. I'm not trying to be diplomatic, you know? What do you think so far? I, I like it. <laughs> Great. All right, the job benefits have improved since the new su supervisor arrived. I haven't met her yet. The new supervisor from HQ, but she has already done quite a few favors for us downstairs division. Previous supervisors only care about upstairs, pretending we don't exist. Now we finally have an advocate. Okay, and you want to know? Advice. Hmm. No. What? Why? You know why? Don't you have a condition to say that? I said no because Miss CN won't allow it. It's just how you operate on your own accord. Even my advice would affect your judgment. Oh. Although, there's one thing I could tell you, I suppose. All candidates you will meet today are applying for short term contributor opportunities. I mean, for one week or two. Nobody would volunteer if not for an urgent need of cash. That is because short-term contribution tends to have a powerful side effect. After service, they will experience dizziness, confusion, or memory loss for over a month. Those who have big plans upcoming may not be the best fit. And she won't be happy if she finds out. I won't tell. Messi wanna Okay, so anyone that is having plans. Okay, so that's good to know. So short terms are go under heavy load. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping me out just now. Can I have done it myself? Mr. Lau is going to kill me if I miss the deadline. You saved my life today, huh? I heard you're getting a newbie today, huh? You're the newbie? Jeff Weir, nice to meet you. You're lucky. Wayne is the nice boss. Consider yourself a lottery winner. Life won't be so easy under other night shift folks. I'll stop at you. Am I wrong? Ah. Oh? Why was it like that? Did Kathy just pass by? Yes. Did she happen to overhear anything I said? Definitely did. Okay, Jeff. We have serious business in here. Ah. Uh, bye then, newbie Wayne. <laughs> no, I shouldn't call you Wayne anymore. Bye, lead. See ya. Goodbye. Oh. Good luck dating. got out We're, wait words spreading around already uh huh wait him you're dating some what <laughs> oh that All right um this one i like he's blush <gasps> no don't tell me it's his girlfriend. A colleague at the farm, but in another division. I've been looking for an opportunity to ask her out, but too busy. Yeah, I don't have time. Hey, wait. Why are you talking about this? There's. Oh no! I'm gonna. I'm actually. If there's gonna be like a love triangle, I'm just. 
I'm saying this right now. I'm closing this game <laughs> because I don't want to deal with love triangles. I forgot to press the button. The bar button. Sorry. It's probably his girlfriend. It's this way. Oh, hi, Wayne. Wayne. He's blushing. Oh, my. Cindy, hi. Wasn't expecting to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're blushing all over, dude. Now I think about it. I know who his crush is. <laughs> not, ex not expecting. He, he asked me to come over and help. His... Oh my goodness, they're setting him up. Apparently the server in the lobby needs a fix again. He's too busy to do it. Consider hiring someone. Calling logistics for help isn't a solution. I'm happy enough to visit you guys. Every once in a while, then. He doesn't seem busy at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, he said you were looking for me? Huh? What is it? I, uh... Was planning to... I gotta give him a push. I'm doing it. Oh! I, um... No, he's pointing your... <laughs> what? I didn't mean that I, uh, Wayne. Then you went by Christina Nora? Well, I've been looking forward to it. That takes Scar a minute, though. Wish I could watch it. Good call, Wayne. Great movie for a date. Thank you. Haha. -ha. Sorry for continuing to introduce myself. I'm Cynthia. Oh. Nice to meet you. You're? Die. Jason Die. New employee here for an interview today. He's assigned for field practice. Consultation which should start now. Good. Good luck with everything. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm going back to my office. See you around, Jason. Wayne. See you. Goodbye. Come on, you should have done it. What now? Wayne? Please forgive me. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> This is my this is the start of my anime life chat. Oh my gosh. You could have asked it out. I'm not so sure about that. I said I asked. Oh, just go. You you're overthinking it. <laughs> just fucking ask her out, man. My goodness. Oh shit. This is the consultation lobby. Where the last step of your screening happens. Much bigger than I thought. Now pay attention, Jason. Today you're on field practice. Nothing intensive. Next, you'll have consultation session with four candidates and select one of them as a contributor. Based on what? I'm not in a position to close that. Sorry. We'll explain later on. Let me walk you through the routine. Candidates know what they're required to do. They will start the conversation with a self introduction. We decide who makes the best contributor based on what we learn from them. Listen carefully. Ask questions. Learn as much about them as possible. After all four sessions, go find Mrs. C and tell her about your decision. Then comes the signing, then comes the signing of the contract to seal the deal. I will walk you through that. Now then, important part, find out who's not fit bare minimum. If you want this job, do it better than that. Meaning you must find out who is the fittest. Of course, you have no idea what makes one fit or unfit. This is the point of your practice, so you can pick things out on the fly. I will give you some hint, but never ever mention this to Miss Yang, will you? Meaning, so we want to break the rules? With field practice, she wants to tell you operate on insufficient data. You may want to take everything into consideration before making a decision. For example, instead of recording this Miss Yang right away, we have done for additional input. Tyler, Jeff, name of I already did that. Of course, they may not want to help. Did 
Sesame Battery. <laughs> I have so much for hands. Now you may start your session. Jeff will take over your booth when all four are done. Jeff? Ah, the guy we met at the elevator. They we met just now, remember? Okay, that's it. Good luck. I'm ready to fuck up and lose my job. <laughs> Let's begin. This guy is not awkward star. It's crazy hot in here. On the other side of the glass. So now my application back in March. Last year. Didn't hear nothing from your company ever since. Thought you didn't want me. So I had to play please. Told me to come here. Oh my gosh. Wait. This is a controlled test. Me. But this guy doesn't even know he's part of a test. But we already know he's going to get declined. Oh, shit. This guy doesn't even realize he's a guinea pig. Oh my. <laughs> Before anything, let me make this clear. I have to take care of something. A family emergency? Suppose you pick me at the end of the day? I may not be available right away. It could be a problem if you aren't available, though. Oh, man. It's just business, but if this guy goes as well, he can die on the rack. Find out everything. Living out, I'm 49 years old. No wife, no kids. Just by myself. Living outside one, one pay. Just live in Xia. Xia? She, uh, you, a county before the reform. Moved over here a couple years ago. We had a little farm back here, back there. Saved a home to work for my father after high school. A few years down the road, I took it over from good old me, a business owner. All the bad things were not bad. Made okayish money from grains, then tried to grow this tough grass on the farm. Kiri, but good for breeding. So, made into bass and that since then, sold on the farm, so I like the idea. Made an all glimmers. You know how I went back. Agriculture factories were popping up everywhere. Sorry, I've been going on my bad. Ask away. Let's continue. Man, they were really building them those days. Hundreds of them. Nicely business. All their wastewater is sinking gas. If I complain, it doesn't work. Got a thousand steps. Got a thousand steps to file a complaint. Even if we do file a complaint, there's a long waiting line. You know what? The governor is supposed to have taken a run inside factories. Those good for nothing town reps to screw us over. What do you say on it? Just in a chat. Ah, politics. Do some <sighs> Sorry, man. That's why we're here for saying it. Tough. Got bad from worse. Can't grow a thing on the farm. Can I even live there? Small farm like us. Died pretty much sooner. I just don't know the factories. I just get kicked the bucket. And they say, life goes on. We sold the land on the cheap. We moved to one pay. Like when I start over, I was part of it all. But you know, it's like these days can't find jobs. I end up doing good jobs here and there. One pay, huh? These city folks are a heartless bunch. I mean, them. I haven't seen a single kind soul. You won't take offense when I talk about one pay like that, will you? Don't mind at all. Good to know. You're a good egg, Glenn. You really are. I think about it, it's all my own fault. 
good for nothing yet always blaming others. You're playing it. A battery. I'm good for nothing. Can't get into college, can't keep the farm. Now I can't find a job. Pa got sick after we moved to Montpellier. Smart time so I just can't. Even so. Sadly, work hard get he used to say all the time. He worked the I know I haven't gotten a real job right now, so I'm trying hard. Sooner or later it'll pay off. He's a good man, my pa. Great man. He's been a bad man. Can't do without him now. That we're talking about my life. Like I said, I've said too much more than you like to know, eh? No such thing. Thank you for sharing. You're awfully nice, lad. All this about talk about when paying outside city is about the same, I admit. You were made heartless just to make a living. I'm not much better either. They don't have to tell you, but the truth is, Pa tried to talk me out of this. Tried to talk me out of it time and again, alright? So I ended up against to make a living. Did my share of jury work? And hurt more than a few people. I mean, what else can I do? You know, a life is like outside your posh industrial zones, sinking air, foul water, dead bodies here and there, killed, starved, overdose. I think you city folks call it the shithole. Can't blame you. It is what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this game gets uh, pretty dark. The whole Thai head district is one giant shithole full of germs and maggots. There I made money as a drug dealer, also smuggled chemicals from factories that lasted for about a year. Never mentioned words of awe. It's not a verge of tears. Okay, that's it. Sorry, trying to keep that part hidden. Looking back, I'm a terrible, terrible person. I wouldn't say so. What kind of person would say that then? A man who has tried. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I haven't seen any kindness for a long time. Nowadays, I just keep going. I know what a loser I am. Always complaining about the world, about other people. Turns out, I'm one of them too. Not any better. You know what? Pa died today. He got sicker and sicker. I didn't have the money for medicine. Then you guys called tell me to come here. I thought, well, got a phone call just before I came in telling me Pa's gone. If this operating is someone else, maybe. Everything I did since coming to Wanfei was to make Pa get better. Rushing from gig to gig, always looking for a real job. Now he's gone, what's the point? Even in Sai Mayon, I have no use for the money anymore. Probably just buy myself a ticket to hometown. There should be some relatives working in the factories. Thank you, lad. Being here and saying out loud makes me feel a little bit better. I am so fucking good at this. You better give me a five star review. Sorry. <laughs> Let's begin. Yvonne Xi'an. This is the one that was second best. My legal name is Yvonne. 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 And thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Doesn't take an extra to tell she's nervous. No, anxious is the right word. Ah, right. I bought these IDs, driver's license. I thought you'd need to see the original copies after a session, no? There's no need. I see. Sorry, I must have remembered wrong. Um, Shannon brought this whole pack of ID papers? Let's go on then. We uh, start with self-introduction. I am Yvonne Xiang, 25, living with my parents, in prep school, working part-time. Our community is called Mayhew in Wan Pei City, on the outer rim. Address is number 5, Yihe, 3rd Street, 6th floor. You don't need to go far in details. I'll let, I'll let her consume. I'm from a big family, like my mother has six sister and one brother. I'm prep school because I failed the college admission exam. Now I'm giving it another try. Prep school, part time working, yeah. The thing is, my parents can't quite afford to have me study full time, especially now when they have a big bill today. I need this opportunity to contribute some real income. But then, coming exam is six weeks away. I can't make any long-term commitments. 
she can't she's not fit for this job then because she's gonna feel dizziness if she commits this she's gonna fail they told me flop farms pay good money and quick so here i am i have done my homework finding out what contributors need to do i thought you younger candidates had a better chance lawrence to say younger is better yes we do Really? Great. Wow, that's perfect. I, um, thank you. I really need this job. Where was I again? The guy's just spending his time. I actually, I can do that. I can even spin my, uh, my wand. I don't want to try My friend's trying to provide me with everything we can manage. Although we're not very rich. Yeah. Still, they sent me an expensive school. Doing everything I to make sure I could have a decent future. And I want to make them proud by getting into a great college. But I failed three times in a row. Oh my goodness. I know how she feels. Even during college, people called me smart and stuff, but like, it's not that I was smart. <laughs> it was more of, I was persistent about it. Let me tell you, Physiology is one of the hardest and difficult, most difficult subjects out there. Physiology and anatomy. Oh my goodness. I've made a single penny this whole time, and our restaurant isn't doing very well. There used to be quite a few restaurants on our street, but now we're the last one standing. This is unfair. I mean, Romans of us when made the traditional way, what you say? But these days, it's all about franchise stores, doing everything with machines. Quick order, quick service, and cheaper too. Cleaning bots keep the restaurants sparking all the time. Taking time with a traditional bowl of handmade ramen is a true luxury, they say. It wasn't like this before. When I was a little girl, the city was full of independent shops and restaurants. You know what? Oh, you know a lot about anatomy. Tell me where all the funny bones are located in your mom. Now big companies are taking up with their franchise stores. I guess you don't see many mom and pop stores where you live, sir. Plenty of them, fact. Dinga is what you call a traditional community. We have a fee. Wow, surprise. You live in one of the traditional communities? <laughs> yep, good guess. Good for you. Playing a nice surprises in those tiny shops. Is the community planet for elevation? I'd like to live in such a community for a change. Ah, sorry I'm blabbering again. Anyhow, since I'm preparing my exam, full-time jobs are out of the question. I really have to get an admission this time. A great college, the exact need major doesn't matter it does matter because you have to enjoy the major as well my parents have been working so hard to pay my tuition they believed in me told me to focus on my studies not to worry about money i'm very grateful every time they meet up with my uncles and aunties they come home meanish they talk about how someone else's child gone to a great college in this day and age oh my goodness i understand where they're coming from <laughs> this type of stuff is so yeah asian families this is so common where you're where you are compared to other people's families it's so disheartening and that's why i can't do the same so i can't fail again not this time I can't live with myself leeching off of them like that. Life is tough enough for them, even without me. Showing them college admissions is the least I could do. I know it's not my place to ask, but in this case, I have to. Because I'm a bad daughter, I'm a burden. I must have to, I must have to seize this opportunity. Show them my worth. So could you please select me as a contributor? I can't promise anything yet. I understand. So as long as the session goes, would you say I have a chance? You're the only side I've only seen. Thank you. I'll be going then. Hey, Jason, 
How did you go? Um, pretty good. Awesome. Me, almost got stabbed in the face on my first consultation session. What? Long story short, baby saver and I. I mean, could you? Jeff, try to help the newbie, huh? Um, yeah, Spicilla. Wasn't expecting to see you here this time. I go where I go. You mind your own work. I see you have nothing better to do. Come help me with some files. Eh? I'd better not, Mr. Lamb. He's about to finish out. I should wait here for my turn. Just a couple more minutes. Let me take a break, will you? After break, you just took? What are you talking about? You dumped your work on Lawrence and went to take a break. Am I wrong? No such thing. <laughs> I totally didn't go smoke. Did I mention smoking? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was out there helping s someone out. Shut up. No, I finished my word. <laughs> For an extra part, you dumped on me. And I dumped on Lawrence. Fair deal. Whatever I dumped on you is caught in assignment. What you do what you're assigned. Get moving or how about you switch s shifts next time. Yes, sir. Piece of advice, Jason. If you get hired, save her Mr. Val. He like he's like that. Boss out of time. Good luck. See you around. Who? Huh? Wait, this is Sydney? This is Sydney? The father said she's 23 years old. Why didn't she start? The gaze of su suggesting something. Yes, you're right. Still, let's continue the session, shall we? Let me start with... Won't want to keep you off occupied for so long. I was a public servant, now retired. I have a pension plan. Although it's not much, you must know the government keeps cutting back retirement pension plans. That's why I need this opportunity. I know that you prefer younger candidates, and so not as fragile as I am. But I believe I meet minimum requirement needs. No way, the screening has no chance. Sorry, I know I'm well past appropriate age. Honestly, I'm 68 now. I had to ask a friend for help to pass the initial screening, meaning I shouldn't trust her medical report. The session may be a waste of your time, and so everyone wouldn't want that. I let me know if you think I should show myself out. What do you think? You shouldn't be here. I will show myself out then. Sorry for wasting your time. And the other guy's fucking dead. He's not dead? Good day, my name is Hank Liu. Nice to meet you. Huh? You're? <gasps> you are fucked. I am firing your fucking at part of my language. Oh, hi, Mr. Dai. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Um. <laughs> Our previous conversation didn't end well. Before sorry, let's make this clear. Our previous uh, disagreement doesn't have any effect on the session, does it? Of course not. I'm fucking civil. Fuck you, bitch. He looks massively <laughs> I'll start then. My name is Hank Lee, 59. Workforce Vision, Construction Supervisor. I mean... Wait, I used to work for Vision. Was the Construction Supervisor back then. Nowadays, unemployed. Career-wise, pretty simple. My dad was a construction worker. I followed suite. Worked for 30 plus years. 
division had this new construction project. The year before last, they gave me a promotion, supervisor. Like I said, my background is simple, middle class family, bunch of work experience, good college too. A bit long and steep these days, but still in awesome shape. My generation grew up in some tough times, made us tough. Not like you youngsters these days. This, <laughs> hey, what the hell? You can tell by medical part, perfect shape. Anyways, I think I'm great fit for the job. It's very confident. What's up with all this confidence? Excuse me? I promise you anything. Is that so? I understand. Okay. That's about it. I've done my part. Any questions? Different. What's the money for? My mom's sick in the hospital for a while. I burned through my savings just to keep her there. Then the doctor told me she needs a surgery, which I can't afford. No way. That's why I'm moving out of that apartment. I can't afford it. Oh, any more? Who do you have in the family? Just me and my mom now. That passed away a few years back. Occupational injury. Hey, maybe it's not so bad being fired by vision. At least I won't die like my dad. Oh. There is a death that's real, working for vision. What do you mean? They didn't ship out workers' safety. No insurance, no replacing busted safety gear. Unless they absolutely have to, can't be take sick leave. That's what I mean. Any more questions? Come on. All right. I think he's the best candidate. He's not young, but he has the mentality. The other girl is going to be S all out of a job. Goodbye. I think Hank's the best. Hey, here you are. Hey, you're all done? Wouldn't call it all done yet. Hey, at least you sat through all the four sessions. Finding the best kind of tough choice for you. Being a seasoned veteran, though, I say correct now, it's pretty obvious. This doesn't seem to be joking. Give me some hints? Of course. As long as you cover when Auntie finds out. Sure. I for, for real now. See, a job depends on this. Let's put it this way. You might want to think about the whole situation the other way around. See if those who are absolutely unfit make things easier. That's all. What does he mean by that? Ah, Jason. Done with consultation? Thank you for the hard work. So much in <laughs> it's frustrating. I'm about to order dinner. Would you like to join? Uh, dinner? Right, it's about 8 o'clock. Dinner time. Company pays for it. Order what you like, they say. No such thing as free lunch, but free dinner and something else. Let's see. Today's menu we have, huh? No. It catch the bento again? Damn. What's wrong with it catch the bento? Ah, I'm still out. Nothing wrong, but uh... It's been the same menu for a whole week. We just have a treat for every once in a while. They have McDonald's? Oh, Mad Connolds? <laughs> No real difference. Well, don't worry if it's not your taste. Your dinner, your choice. Oh, I've seen this actually because <laughs> they've ended up falling. Okay, I get it. Sigh. Order you, order for you. Would you prefer chicken or pork rib? <gasps> chicken. But your chicken and bento is kind of meh. This rib is way better. I'll you find out yourself. Cause I'll order chicken today. The rib bento is good. Enough. Is enough for a whole week. Anyway, I'll bring you your bento when it arrives. Don't let me keep you any longer. Thank you. I always love seeing the different ways they spin it. <laughs> I agree. Okay, let's see. No need for this formality, man. Ah, uh, this figure of youth. <laughs> okay, we have to go. I want to bother him, but no. Oh, wait, is this the elevator? It's not. Hmm. 
There's actual prejudice. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're straight up. Check this for This is where you can make the cut anyway, so. I think why a lot of cannons like that recently. Oh, there are a lot of people lying. Like what? Hysteria mental, dis mental disorder? No, the barfy kind. The barfy kind? Must be some kind of epidemic. Which they're actually just... <laughs> a lot of them just start barfing and roaring at all while waiting and lying. What's well, called chill for a reason? They're actually just... Oh my goodness. Hi. Hello. No worries, down the other side of the glass. Whatever disease they have, there's a vaccine for it. They're not vaccinated because they have no ID. Dot dot dot. Man, they're straight up prejudice. As the government rolls out Transit 2.0 initiative, we're seeing one term over the news increasingly often, which is hosted coordination. So what exactly does this mean? Simply put, hosted coordination means addressing complicated systems here and algorithms, hosting and cloud for optimized efficiency. Notice that this is alpha and alpha one, but we in fact have, see its application every day. Hosted coordination is widely used in flight planning, power grid, and so forth. While well, it solves many problems, the innovation introduces a new dimension of concern. Scottish researchers across many industries have been warning us for a long time to believe that over reliance on a host of coordination may not be a good thing. What do you think, Professor Liu? Ah, oh, yes, of course. That's a problem. Although the problem is not without host coordination, when we talk about host coordination, we're talking about many separate ecosystems, each controlled by a different service provider. Born to corporate. <laughs> That's in fact quite fine. If one surface suffers any outage, the rest of them are not affected. The real risk is when you look closer, all these services are kept afloat by flops generated by the same entity, which is Vision Corporation. Imagine what happens when hypothetically Vision's flop generation network goes offline for one single hour for whatever reason. Within this hour, the world we know it will plummet into total chaos. First and foremost, all route planning, automatic driving, traffic control system will be white. The damage would be, no, I can't imagine what it looks like. Gosh, it will definitely be the end of the world. <laughs> Ideally, no, by common sense, we shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket. There should be a healthy flops market with diversity and competition. The reality is, Vision is the only corporation capable of meeting country's demand for flops. This monopoly creates an enormous risk. Any security breach or service outage at Vision could have catastrophic consequences. Isn't the government doing anything about it? Well, they certainly would if they could. In the domain of flop generation, Vision is absolutely a leader in technology. No one is capable of supervising their practice. Surely other corporations in the flops industry have the know-how to supervise it? Not at all. As I said, Vision's technology is miles ahead of the games. No one has the know-how except for themselves. And again, is it really okay to let competitors supervise each other? There are conflicts of interest to consider. You're right. The next issue is legislation. Honestly, we barely have any relevant legislation for the flops industry at all. The technology industry is growing so fast that our legal system can't keep up with it. I thought legislation assembly was debating just a few days ago that, sure, exactly, but don't forget, Vision is counteracting too. They want to keep the status quo. The chairman of Sunrise recently made a statement, remember? Sunrise will not buy one single flop from Vision until 
the Legislative Assembly passes sensible working regulative laws. Sunrise could afford to do that because they have their own flaw corns. Other corns, especially small ones, not no such luck. I see. The situation is indeed dire. Now, sure. Now, a short advertisement break. Afterwards, we will continue a conversation with a senior farm manager at Vision Corporation. He will share with us an in-depth look at security measures at Vision's bot farm. Be back soon. Oh, um, Mr. J, what's up? I want to say thank you, but I didn't have a chance to. Thank you for backing me up. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> That's it. She got to office. So she just wants to get the green light. You're back. Oh, hi, Jason. That's serious depressing. What's the what's the problem with Silencio? Why does it keep letting uninvited people in, Madam? About shutting down the farm. Okay, give us a moment, Edith. Okay. Good luck. I'm probably getting fired. <laughs> Come here. How was the consultation? He went well. Pretty good, I think. What's that supposed to mean? Why does it keep checking the screen? You know, the entire process was conducted under surveillance. I was watching. What? I heard every word. As I said, I make sure every purchase I make is worthy. Actually, you did well. <gasps> I'm slapping my desk? Fuck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so fucking good at this. Being reasonably courteous, at least not having conflicts with anyone. Considering this is your first time, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you made Eugene die trusty enough to share his personal fresh. Damn. Damn. I'm so good at this. Oh my goodness. This is no easy feat. Generally, I appreciate what you have done. Good. Now you need to name the right candidate. Let's go over some details in your sessions. First of all, first Eugene side started conversation about politics. You could agree with them. Brought the session back to the subject. Very well done. So as you do not really find him agreeable, so you held your own opinions back. You demonstrate a quality that I really appreciate. You have no idea how many consultants have engaged in canons and political arguments. Have you met Jeff? Things almost <laughs> During his first session, yet again, you did have a little political disagreement back there, but you quickly pulled back and brought the session under control again. And you made Eugene spill his guts. He's willing to do it because the empathy he demonstrated. This is exactly why I look for it. In consultants, Mr. I, show respect and empathy. Hey, candidates, <gasps> right? Because she said you have to respect them. I completely forgot about that. I was just, I was just, it was planned all along. The way, that way we can find the best candidate with the least trial and error. Who do, what you did has proven your capability, but this is not my own self. The regular me, wait, what? The regular me wouldn't be so nice to him? Wait, so this isn't just his inner dialogue. He's aware, but he's not controlling his own body, I imagine. The And the guy said it, you're just a mind without a body? Or was it the other way around? Oh shit, what's going on? Next, Yvonne Xi'an. You told her you... We don't require ID. How do you know? I asked Hire about how conversation usually goes. The really to practically look for pitfalls and make perversion good. Mmm. <laughs> Being honest is fucking working for me. Oh my goodness. You did truly well. Next, the ID issue aside, you did not make 
heard any promise about the result. Well done. Never make a promise that you can't keep. Oh, I'm so good at this. Many consultants make things up on the fly when the candidates repeatedly ask. At least you are not one of them. By the way, the younger candidates are not necessarily better. <gasps> Because it's about, it's about the mental fortitude. The purpose of the consultation is to make comprehensive assign, assessments. Wait, who gave you such... You must have heard it from somebody. Oh, shit. It is, is that so? Okay, Lauren Silver. <laughs> I think you should have learned better. Ida, tell Lawrence to come here. <laughs> no, not a. Oh, I'm sorry, Lawrence. Sorry, <laughs> Sydney Tan. You rejected Miss Tan. Good judgment call. She is obviously not qualified, and she violated regulations. You could have done better though by asking her to stay. Ah, oh, just keep that offer going. You might have something helpful. Who knows? Don't worry about it though. I will send someone to investigate. Her insider friend. Lastly, Mr. Hank Liu. Men and acquaintance. What a surprise! I can tell you are not on friendly terms. He kept the personal grudge aside. Continue with the session. Hmm. The session was uneventful. Everything was handled as should be. Okay, so much for review. I've said my part. Now it's your turn. Who do you think is the best candidate? It was Hank. Wait, who's the guy? It was Hank, right? Eugene was like, he was the. F it was. It's Hank. It's. It has. It's Hank. Yeah, Hank was the last guy. Okay. Hank. She's smiling. Oh. Yes. Hank leaves our best candidate. I think you've honestly no, but remember, they said short term. If you're doing a short term, you shouldn't have anything planned afterwards because you're going to be busy and experiencing memory loss. She had stuff to do afterwards. That quick cash wasn't gonna help her. Hank Lee was the best candidate. Every candidate has their own issues. I mean those are absolutely not few fit hankley was the last remaining one good health mentally stable predictable life and he has the legitimate need for his opportunities he's that financial stress from unemployment i thought she would prioritize the most in need no with everything considered you did well for naming the best candidate solid performance great of course maybe you prefer someone else despite your personal preference it is what it is I guess someone in the office must have told you to make the right decisions key to your field practice. And that's someone I suppose might very well be Tyler. Yep. <laughs> in fact, the entire process is a test from consultation session to the final decision. And I have everything I need to know. Based on her reaction, I should be doing pretty well. Your next step is going to sign a contract with Hank Liu. Like last time, Wayne will walk you through the process. Unlike last time, however, he will see you through the sign sign process. We can't afford to fully entrust this final step to a new employees. I don't mind. Happy trying to see your private side with big bucks. Oh! Top of Hank, there's someone else I need to sign a contract with. She's been pre- She has been pre-screened and verified by Miss Lin. You must sign her on. Understand? When I first learned, that's not important. Sign her on, or you'll be in big trouble. I will give the final verdicts. Go, meet Wayne in the office. See you later, Miss. Edith, show. Sorry, Lawrence. <laughs> oh shit! I'm getting my ass beat. Jason, then with the manager. How did it go? Bad. Great. Anya's calling me over. Don't know what for yet. I'm going in. See ya. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get fired. Looking for the team lead? 
Miss Yates will be coming in. Hey, Aunt. Hey, Aunt. Is there a, a, Rain a corridor outside the sign room? I'll keep him informed. Roger. Outside the corridor? But who's that? How'd you come in? If you have something to use, something to leave to you, could you? Yeah, but the maids would kill me. <laughs> it's just the second time. Right. Ha ha. But if Sansa so caught it, there should be a fine for you. Fine's better than being fired. Could they fire for that? Yes, this in the past is a very big deal. The cellar could have been infiltrated because of it. Plus, Justin just spent a lot of time to get it for me. And you should keep it close. I know, right? I put it away with care. Put it away? Where? There. Oh, right there. The top of your document pile? Anyone could have stolen it? Silencio is watching. Oh, right there. Say, has your shy baby feed us? Huh? Bring him out for a drink, Tyler. Get him drunk. He needs the courage. Why me? Because I'm Aboriginal doesn't mean I'm alcoholic. Hey, hey. Admit it already. You think all Aboriginal are goose heads, don't you? Aboriginals? I haven't said anything yet, okay? Just pulling your leg. He does need some Dutch, Dutch courage, though. I'll see to that. Call me in. Don't get drunk. <laughs> Chill, Tyler. He cut out trinket elephant. Red tail see him in action. I mean you. Your animal physical is showing more red than black. What? <laughs> See, says the caffeine addict. Ha ha, you guys are so fun. Yeah, fun enough for visitors. Work here for a couple days and they'll break your, your ears off. They let to your ears. I'm going. I really don't want to report this to Mr. Liao. Later. Bye. Hey, bros. Here, meet Jacer. <laughs> He's been standing there all along. <laughs> Jacer? The new guy. Jason Dye. Oh, this is the new guy I heard about. Hello, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Rose Sun, deputy lead of logistics. The legend who conquered a hundred kilogram bench press? She's buff! Oh my god, oh my gosh! It's 110 kilograms now. Wow, congrats. That is awesome. Superhuman. <laughs> How about you two? Any progress? <laughs> I'd be surprised if they used their gym cards more than twice. And you guys asked me to go together to form for a group membership discount. Imagine what she could do to my fr fragile body. Okay, okay. I need it to waste money, okay? Now, I'm having a super hard time to get a refund for my gym membership. Could you go with us, Rose? The receptionist would kill us. You know, gym's inside out. Come on, help us out. Hmm. I've never canceled a gym membership before. Probably can't help. Ouch. The membership is a total waste of money. Just go to the gym. Make some use of it. A waste of money is bad enough. I don't want to waste time. Whatever, you decide. Okay, I should go now. Before Mr. Yao comes to hunt me down. Bye. Oh, he's not back yet.
it seems like she cares about like honesty as well so even if he gets chewed out i don't think he, he would get fired right What? You need it like right away? Wait, that's Jeff. Of course. I looked I looked everywhere. Even Lawrence says. Say it says the spark that came for a musty guy. Huh? Why did I check his ass? Because sometimes he helps me out with work. No, I'm not slacking off. There's no point anyway. Your door opens for you, right? <laughs> Fuck me, I'm so dead. Hey Jason, help. Uh, what's up? You have a minute? This is kinda complicated. I have some time before going to contracting. Uh, depends what you need a minute for. I'll take that as the app. Oh, some critical documents in Auntie's office. I say I forgot these. Be a man, just go get her. And you be a man. How about you give it a try? I'll pass. See? I need those documents. Right here. What should I do? Uh,. Like, ask something really nice for them. <laughs> ask lions to be a vegetarian. Good luck with that. Sooner or later, that mouse is going to get killed. Hey, what are you losers babbling about? <laughs> Jeff left something at Nancy's office. I need it now. Hmm. What if I told you I can open her office door? Q Man, the superhero? Not for me, it's Jeff's problem. Anyhow, are you going to plan to do it? I have special plans for me. I could open the door. Of course. Only when Auntie isn't there. Yo, who's not there? What's the latest gossip? <laughs> oh gosh. Were you in your office just now? Why do people keep joining in? <laughs> I just remember you guys are talking to. I'm part of every conversation in this office. Hey, me too. That's not important. What's Auntie like right now, Lawrence? Um, she left. Not sure where it's you. Now's the time. Let's move. Be careful, Auntie. Is in a killer mood mode. Doesn't matter, it's now or never. Yeehaw. Is this our organized operation? This is fine. I'll get myself up while Kiki opens the door. We need someone to keep watch. Station is the elevator keep Not me? Oh sorry, I'm kinda of busy. Oh gosh. I'll do it. This is anime. Oh. Oh, she's back. What are you doing here? Uh. I'm waiting for some. Never mind, I shouldn't have asked. Wait. <laughs> what? Uh. I have some questions. Ask me any of you. They are your mentors. I am going. Um. Where are the contract rooms? I said, ask me. That was waste. Oh. Oh, shit. Maintenance, huh? Right. What is Jeff doing here? I'm giving. <laughs> right. Is your for Cavalry dancing one single word these days, Quinsman? <laughs> you know what I mean? This word is really acting up, Auntie. You are acting. This word is working as great as can be. Uh. Not open for me. I feel I'll, I'll be obliged to contribute. Alright. Are you done with it yet? All done. <gasps> Fuck yeah. I saved it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ew, that was close. Why don't you slow her down? I tried. When she wants to be. She still seems to have her convinced about the door. I think it's going to be okay. Anyways, I have the documents. That's what counts. Thank you guys. I am on both. Just ask. No biggie. <laughs> I always pay my debt. If you do get hired, that is. I will ignore you about that. I was joking. <laughs> I'm off to deliver these documents. Bye. He's just gone just like that. Hey, Jason, sir. Now you know who to ask in case you need to get the door open, eh? Good. Back to work. I have some real maintenance to do. Haha. <laughs> 
This feels more like an anime than it does like... <laughs> All Chinese ladies can be brutal. True. No, that's uh Where's Oh, this is a sign here. Okay. Where the where the hell is he? Oh, wait. I'm exhausted. Looks like my internal clock's not used to night shift yet. Must stay awake. Huh? So, you already knew one? Where are we? My prison? Did you... You're not like the others, somehow. I have never seen these. Hmm? Ah, time's up. You see? It's not just his monologue. Jason? Here you are. Sorry, I didn't know you were taking a nap. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. There they go. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're not used to night shows, are you? Otherwise, you shouldn't feel this drowsy. Or... Not that I'm used to it. Yeah. Yo, Wayne, Jason. How's it going? Laurent. What are you doing here? To cover Tyler's shift? He got the time wrong, went out, but couldn't make it back before signing starts. I'll wait here with you guys for a while. You said Tyler got the wrong time? The time wrong, Lawrence? He has, he has got this procrastination wrong, but never missed the deadline. Do you exactly say why he lost? No, just that he got the time wrong. By the way, did you do it? Do what? The question was for Rain. I have an answer yet. Don't tell me you got a call. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't you just ask? Tell you what, Wayne's been wanting to ask a girl out for like forever. So how about we chipped in and bought him tickets to the super popular movie? And what now? You see chicken and tell her. Actually, I gave him a push too. <laughs> huh? And guess. For real? Wayne? Real what? Dude, you chicken. I sort of. Jeez. Okay. Enough about that. Now I need to go over the contract signing process with Jason. Sure, I'll go to everyone about Sir Wayne's courageous deed. <laughs> Do whatever you want. The face of man quietly stepping in his face. I need to check a few things with you, Jason. There was a stack of brochures made out together with your interview notes. Have you read them? And the notice you said, no preparation needed. I did read through everything. In the package, though. Good for me. It was, sort of, it was some sort of contract. Pain in the butt to read. Why did the contract say no preparation needed? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> A guilty laugh. Honestly, it's imposed by Miss Ye. In other words, we don't consider anyone who doesn't bother to read the brochures. I am I'm getting hired. I'm getting hired. Is it bad I had homemade beef soup and Spanish rice while I'm enjoying bread and jalapeno artichokes with more? I wouldn't say that's bad. She's going out of her way to challenge people. I guess you wouldn't be too surprised after everything you've seen. That's nothing. I don't mind. In that case, you've got along very well with me. I'll trust you on your words. So you have read the brochure. My upset family's upset, huh? Jeez, this building's a fucking mess. <laughs> Why are they upset though? Or else you're already disqualified. That was a close one. We have read include 
visions contributor contract templates. Again, assuming you really did read them, you must have noticed that our cause is beneficial to the contributors. Where's this conversation going? Now let me add one more thing about these beneficial causes. If they don't act at the ends about them, we have no obligation to inform them. The company does not encourage the disclosing unnecessary information. You know what I mean? You mean don't tell them about how they can get paid more? Simply put, yes. Of course, if they do ask for it, we cannot decline. I see. I'm bringing this up because it raises a key performance metric at screening. What? The company's AI system keeps track of every team member's contract profit. If you give contributors too much benefit, it will show a performance review in a negative way. Wait a minute. Is this game also like... Is this the concept of like social credit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> This whole process is handled by Silencio, whoever rides me, even Miss Ye. You should keep that in mind. He's actively telling me not to give any benefit. Future China, the game? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I mean, it, everything is based in Chinese. At least so far, from what I can tell. Lower contract profit probably means reduced chance for this job. Now, specifics. There are three types of benefits or losses, depending on your perspective. One, first timer bonus. If the candidate is contributing flops for the first time, we can't impress them. Two, insider bonus. If a candidate is or was an employee at Vision, they are entitled to additional pay. So, that means that Hank was definitely the best candidate. Last, free insurance. If the candidate does not have any accident insurance policy to cover the duration of flop contribution, we can offer him free insurance. In insurance is not your benefit? I thought insurance was part of the basic path. In other industries, yes. For flop farming though, the whole business depends on a cost control. If free insurance is made part of the basic package, no farm could last two months. Not a single one. That makes sense. Hey, ready to come in? Huh? You guys are next? Your candidate is already inside. It's all about the basics. It's kind of easy. Don't know what for. He means hang? Thank you. We'll take over here. Good luck. You need good luck. How many complaints have you got? Three? I can use some good luck. <laughs> put, my, put that smiley face away. Come over here. I'll give you a free lesson on contracts. What? But I've got to... You have time. Hurry up. Okay. I'll take this guy elsewhere. Good luck, Jason. Thank you. No problem. Let's go. Okay, get ready. We're going in. If you have any questions about this, can they refuse to sign the contract? Of course. It's their decision, knowing they wouldn't have a reason to say no. To streamline the process, the company wants us to navigate the situation in rare event that they change their mind. By the way, this will affect your performance review. Failing to sign a candidate on usually means in depth talk with your manager. Don't, don't let them change your mind. Noted. Any more questions? Can I modify the terms of the contract? If they insist, no. The contract's. Terms are firm. Not even a manager can make any change. Our job is to convince the candidate to accept the deals. No room for negotiations. Any more questions? I don't have more questions. So don't offer the benefits unless they bring it up. Yeah, exactly. Ah, hello. Evening, good sirs. Evening. What's a sudden courtesy? <laughs> Nice to meet you, Mr. Lee. I am Wang Zhang. This is Mr. Jason Dai, a trustee I've met earlier during consultation. Ah, uh, right, I know. We are neighbors, actually. Haha. <laughs> ah, why a surprise. You must have been informed that we are about to sign the contracts. I'm um, sorry, no, I have a question. It's quite alright. What is it? You said you were about to sign the contracts. 
Any items selected? Yes. He looks relieved. Roger. Great. Yeah, great. Thank you for choosing, Mr. Jai. You're welcome. When I say thank you, I meant it from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much this means to me. This indeed looks like weight has been left off the shore. Shall we continue, if we are all clear? Ah, yes, please. First of all, Mr. Jai here. Our new employee will go over the contract terms with you. My role today is to supervise. Please don't mind me. Is that okay, Mr. Liu? He's new? Does that affect my contract in any ways? It does not. Rest assured. I'm all good then. I'm s I suppose you already have examined conditions payment listed in the contract? Yes, I did. Looks all good. I agree with everything. We can sign any time. He's really here to do this. Good. Do you have any doubts? If you have any doubt about anything in the contract, now is the time to ask. Mr. Dai here will ask, answer your questions. Let's begin. Um, how soon can I get the money? Money, he's, he means contributors' compensation, I think. There's a 25% advance bonus once he provides a receiving bank account. We're not supposed to say anything. We can issue a 20% before. Great, is it too late now? You have until tomorrow. Other thing is the basement in the contract is confirmed by guaranteed. Excuse me? I mean, is there a way to earn more? Uh, the contract is firm. Based on Wei's reaction, I said the right thing. Thank you, I did check with him beforehand. What about the other way around? Will you find ex excuses to cut my pay? I think the training package has mentioned something about this. Depending on the contributors, the deductions might have. Although we can't cut the pay down below 85%. Might have it depending on the case. What? What do you mean? How can you do that? Please calm down, Mr. Liu. But I spent five damn months on this, and now you're stealing my money? I, I really need this money. I know how you feel. Thanks. Explain then, what do you mean by deduction? Like, cut whatever you like from my pay? The bottom line is you will get paid. Of course I will. My point is, how much are you going to cut? By stipulating the contract, we can only make deductions up to the limit. What is the limit, is it, Mr. I? It's 85%. I must have gotten a percentage, right? That, that's not bad. Sorry, I lost control for a second. Not a problem at all. Please don't hesitate to voice any more of your concerns. I can't think of any other questions for that. Again, sorry, I was flaring up back there. Truth is, I've never done flop contributions before. It's the first time? One specific clause applies then, although it's not the company's favor. Don't say anything. The reason I chose visions that I used to work here. Not complete strangers, say. It's part of the con construction queue when I work here. Being a former employee makes him eligible for another incentive. That being said, I wouldn't have ended up here if Vision didn't fire me in the first place, eh? What? You get extra paid for that? Damn, it's about time to settle the score. I'm happy you applied it, even if it kills me. Ahem, for that we only see proof of employment. I can draw for it when I get back home. Might have checked out when they fired me, but good news is good news. My mom's bill are pretty much paid. Oh, not only concerns my safety, you mean... I heard there's a risk in flop contribution, no? They say I reckon there's a chance of injury? Looks like... What's wrong with him? He looks kind of nervous? Technically, yes. There is risk. But rest assured, the risk is practi practically natural. I'll trust you on that. I don't only breadwinner in a family, a whole family, you know. If I'm down, there's no safety net. No insurance. Having no insurance makes him eligible yet for another benefit. We provide food for uninsured 
contributors. Tough life there. Um, okay, I'm ready to sign up, I guess. Good. Signature here, please. Thank you, Mr. Shen. I kind of, I think I messed up a couple of times. That settled that then. Have a nice evening, see you around. Okay, bye. What's my thing? I actually had a plan and chance to inform him about incentive packages. I did give him one. Offered more? Makes sense. I did the same if I were you. I said there, there's a butt coming. No, no, no butt. Life is tough. Everyone's out for themselves. Can't blame others for not giving a hand. They have a reason not to. I won't judge you when it's your interest at stake. Okay, time for your next candidate. You know what? I can sit through this session. I can't sit through this session. Sorry, have to work. Sorry, have work to do. After Miss Lee, you should be able to handle it on your own. Oh, is this a girl? Wait. Aaron Chang. Chuckle. Hi. Yo. What's with this weirdo vibe? Messiers must sign them on con- Hello. I sit there. Where? Right here, please. Do you feel alright? Oh. She's drunk. Do I sign? She's shivering. I'm signing contract now. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Meantime, I'm sort of shivering all over the place. Right now, this room is very warm. That's fairly warm. Please calm down. I am calm. I'm. Oh, she's got the pandemic that's going on. Where do I need a sign? Oh, man. She told me to sign it to... I'm going to decline it. A doctor? No. Why? You're funny. Doctor's funny. No doctor. I don't want a medical check. Wave it. But her being here must... She must have passed the health screening. Paperwork does say she needs a self-health screening though. The way I said I can wave the second chat? You can wave it, right? There must be a reason? That is not important. Why do you even care? It's my privacy. She's panicked. She's trying to hide. I'm all clean now. Ratchet's shivering badly. Symptoms of methamphetamine? Withdrawal? She's a dope head. Hurry the heck up. I've got, like, places to be. She's desperate for a quick fix. Edith said blood pressure drug could leave people disabled or dead. Grave the med check, please. Uh... I will not wave it. Huh? Why? Until you're on drugs. I'm not. You have any idea who my dad is? City rep, he'll kick your ass if you keep saying no. No means no. I need money now. I need money for dope. I can't sign her on, she's a ticking bomb. But again, fair means a lot of trouble for me. Okay, do your med check then. Whatever you found out, they can't stop me. I just don't want to leave a wreck. Why bother me? Mom and Dad don't care anyways. She's agitated. I'm signing here. We all done? She's an adult, capable of making her own decision. Let her have what she wants. I have to, I have a job to grab. Are you aware of the consequences of the signature? Because if she signs it, and this farm goes down? I 
I become a vegetable. Big deal. I did my research. The chance is low. Even if I croak, as if anyone cares. Obviously, she didn't think things through. Still, it's none of my business. I want. I'm not letting her sign. The fuck do you care, huh? My parents are here. Who, who are you trying to give lectures, huh? I'm responsible if anything happens to you. Responsible, my ass. I'm not responsible for this whole dope head. No. Why? Why do you have to say no? She's backing down a little. The last thing I want to see is you hurting yourself. Oh, that broke her. Oh, <laughs> that broke her. What should I do? How can I make them care? I've heard the same question from Fran, but... Do whatever you must, but not this. They don't care about me anyway. What should I do? You have to stop hurting yourself. I know. Sorry for bringing this on to you. I am. Um, I won't sign this. Fuck yeah. I'm probably getting fired. But you know what? I did everything up, up until this point stellar. So go fuck you. Since I'm not signing, am I free to leave now? Yes, take good care of yourself. Goodbye. She's a fucking dope head. You, uh, sorry, I'm not gonna. Could be a test, maybe, but. Hey, stay there for a while, Jason. Huh? I'm with work. That was quick. I know it seems fishy, but let me explain. What's that awkward face? Man, I hate moments like this. First of all, I promise that what you just saw is the last of Miss Ye's test. No. Oh, it was a test. What the heck? There was another test? She is saying you can't change these plan how you make moral decisions, whether they're explicit orders from above. This line of work deals with life and best scenarios. Everyone on the job must be well qualified and prepared. Meaning Miss Chang was not fit for contribution, and the plan is to reject her during signing. I was watching the entire process through the surveillance camera. Like what Miss Yai did when you were in consultation session. She's really going out of range to test people. But no, just keep quiet. Okay, back to Miss Karen Chang's case. Like I said, I was there watching the entire process. I must say that what you did was. Oh, I'm so fucking. I'm fucking hired. <laughs> I got a job. <laughs> Sorry. I shed a few tears on the other side of the camera. What exactly did I do right? You made her give up on her own accord. Fuck yeah. This is a very tricky case. Unreasonable candidate, not to mention your job at stake. I even said, I was like, I'm probably getting fired. But you know what? It looks like I'm getting hired. Every you mentioned, so I got out of it. Even gave her a light of hope. That conversation will have far reaching effects on her life, I believe. I just gave her a few timely pushes. You have a talent for this, Jason. She is a poor child craving for attention. Her family certainly isn't helping. Having, having you to feel for her, care about her, might have changed her life in a subtle way. That would be great. Yes, indeed. Hey, so much for real practice today. Finally. <laughs> I don't miss yet. Has the final verdict. Before that, spend some more time in the office. Let's get going. Someone else is waiting in line for this room. No, I'm not. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Calm down, Jade. What's going on? There's a man with a knife stabbing it. What? What the fuck? Take a deep breath. See here, I'm gonna check it out. Get your boss here, but mother. <gasps> He's. He stabbed! I'm gonna kill him for what he did. What he did? What's happening? No idea. The psycho busted out of, out of a contract room and started to stab people. Keeps asking for the boss. I, I calm down, silence. You should have already sounded the alarm. Secret office must be away. We just need to buy some time. But Lawrence, he took a stab for me and is bleeding out. I don't know. Jeff, calm down. I'll try to keep him occupied. What the fuck are you whispering about? You dab or what? Said 
I'll keep killing you fuckers until you, until your motherfucking boss shows them. Huh? The boss will be here soon, very soon. I never find a fucking cops. Die, you mother. Oh shit. Oh, quick time, quick time. Come at me, bro. I play R6. I'm warning you. Shit. Shit. I'm definitely hired for this job. Fuck you. Jason, are you okay? You know what? You what? Knock them out? He'll sit down for a while. Well, he was ex military, right? Can't do har any harm for now. Did you? He looks shocked. Wayne, Lawrence, he. I'm okay. Flesh wound. Hey, stay still. Don't move him, Jeff. Paramedics and security officers will be here soon. I am informed, Miss Ye. This mess must be taken care of ASAP. Sorry, Jason. Your view may have to wait. We'll let you know tomorrow, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Do me a favor, will you? Go to the office and tell you to suspend all contract signing for today. Could you do that? Sure. What exactly should I tell her? All the contracts? So, so I told you to pass the message. Okay, she will know. That's it for now. You're like an action hero back there, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> he says that. It's all fucked up. Kick ass. Calm down. You're bleeding out. I'll be on my way then. Why is Wayne so surprised? You were in army before, ain't you, Jason? Super commando? No shit. <laughs> it's nothing really. How'd you know? Come on, this is the vision. What do you not what do we not know? Okay. Don't make you go go in for me to. Don't worry about us. Help will be here soon. Damn man, I fucked you up. We gotta see our girlfriend. Must be rushing to the assault scene. And medics too? Wait. I heard it, Mr. Zai. You took down an armed psychopath. Barehanded. Incredible. Is Arn Shang okay? Oh, you mean the injured man? I'm not sure. We only just arrived. But since the medics are here, I trust he will be alright. The injury looks bad. We are setting public barriers around the crime scene. Police will be here soon. There's only so much we can do as security officers. Can I go in? Sorry, I sent you everyone out. Okay, I see. After Daily. See you later, Mr. Die. Herb's not that piece of shit. <laughs> I know. I can practice those takedowns on Hayden. Did I? Monkas. Back to screening. Did you see that alert? Yeah, something happened to the contract firm scam. Must be another dope head. I figured you guys sent him on. Was anyone hurt? Don't know, the message didn't say. Just that drum maker was subdued by a nearby worker. A worker? For real? Didn't the guy like have a knife? Beats me. It's fucking me. Oh. Hey, I was looking for you. Huh? We heard about it, Jason. Why is she so grim? Sorry here. This is only this is only your first day? Are you right? Are you hurt? Are you should see the other guy, huh? I heard you took him down. Good for you. Somehow she doesn't sound very happy about it. Did Wayne say something before you left? Is that how related to contract signing? Acknowledge. I will send a message out. Thank you. I need to make a few I need to make a few calls. Don't forget to clock yourself out on your computer. Come again? Clock what? Record the time you stop working. I know I should do it, but today is a special... And... Security officer told me about it. 
She looks sadder? What that man came here for? Or maybe you know it already? Uh, no, I don't. The officer who had been home told me that he's here to take revenge for his family that died here at this farm during contribution and an accident. Multiple of them all died. Oh. It seems like there might be something going on. Hey, you're back? Ed? Mr. Dyer, are you okay? I'm okay. Hey, I heard you knocked the guy out all by yourself and he's got a knife? Awesome, man. I'll train for this. A professional kick ass. Any idea why he did it? I thought he's just a psycho. There has to be a reason, I think. What do you say, Chaser? Uh, not my place to take random guesses. I see. They know something. Oh, where's Lawrence? Why is it urgent? What's wrong with Lawrence? He should be near the site when it happened. I just want to cover my shift. What? Is Lawrence okay, Jason? He was stabbed, but nothing too bad. I got him into this? Don't say that, Tyler. You guys are still here? Jeff. No idea how Lawrence is doing. He was stabbed, almost passed out, blood loss. Although, what? Oh, I'm getting all teary. <laughs> Calm down, meds are taking care of him. He's in stable condition. Relax. Why is this happening? Did you see what happened, Jeff? Yeah, but it's the whole thing. That psycho came out of the signing room, no one saw him. Actually, I did see him, but didn't pay attention. If only I... Don't blame yourself. You couldn't have known. And he pulled a knife out of nowhere and stabbed Lawrence in the in the back. I froze up. I wanted to help Lawrence, but I was too afraid to move. Lawrence turned around and blinked about in a blink and knocked his other knife. Yeah, he had two. Everyone froze for a second, then started running like hell. I was too close to the psycho, didn't dare turn my back, so I stayed. Then Wayne and Jason came out of nowhere out of another room and Jason took him down before I knew what was happening. Was anyone else hurt? I heard something from a medic. He said a consultant died from an, another unit. Don't know his name. Oh, someone passed away. Killed on the spot in room 83. The police is, the room is sealed off by police. Looks like the psycho went bonkers mid-session and stabbed him. I didn't even have time to call for help. I don't get it. Why is this happening? The point is, how did he manage to bring a knife into the farm? The facility is specially, specifically designed with security in mind to keep us safe. We don't know how unsafe it is outside. Insulation zone or around that farm? Insulation zone? Every single living thing waddling into the farm is scanned from head to toe. If knife can slip through, what? What if next time they sneak in a gun, you know? Huh? Not too hard to get a gun in the shithole, you know? What are those surveillance cameras for, huh? Logistics and me spend so much time servicing them. And yet, and what signs they for? Shouldn't it guard all the contract rooms? Let an outsider in just like that, huh? The fuck? Could it be a software glitch? Huh? In a vision farm? Maker of the world's cutting edge AI? What if the AI is becoming sentient? Our state of the art system has a stupid glitch? Exactly. Actually, software glitches have been reported in all sorts of places across the farm. A security loophole is not unlikely. I am one living example. Simon Sio showed me into the manager's office more than once. It did let... What? Wait, if you knew about glitches, why didn't you or anyone fix them? I would if I if I could have ran through our diagnosis, diagnosis and realized there's a deeper cause. Deeper cause? Kathy looks hesitant. Ops will handle it. Damn, ops again. Every single time. If this farm pulls up, it's because they screwed up. Do they hate their job that much? This is so fucking... T you know, I think this, there's a two side of the story to this. It's not that they they hate the job, but it's like, it's mentally draining them. Calm down, Quinson. We don't have a 
will hold them liable if it's their fault. All we can do is wait. I know, but Jason and Lawrence deserve better. They've only been here for days, and look what's already happened. Shit happens. I admire your attitude, Jaster. <laughs> What's the way you dealt with that guy? You're seriously as cool as a cu cucumber. Oh, you guys are not going home after everything that happened? When is that halt everything related to signing? Which I'm not a part of, so... Jeff. Ah, this is yeah. George looks very concerned. Are you alright? I heard about someone stabbing people around where you were at. Slow down. Chill. I'm okay. Watch your blood pressure. I'm not joking. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, he's so concerned. Totally. Good, good. As long as you're okay. Otherwise, I can't face you. I can't face your mom. Oh, they're connect they know each other when I die. So they're not that bad. Are you mentally okay? Tell me if you need a therapist. My broken will take care of it. You just go home and... <gasps> Whoa! Wait a minute! That was so nonchalant! I like this game even more! He's gay! <laughs> you mean your friend? I'll go. Man! <laughs> Immediately, this guy ruined it. Though he's very old school, so I can, I can understand. I'll go home when I want to. Don't come home too late. You hear me? Yeah, chill. Hey, are you really, really okay? I said I'm okay. Great. I'll go home and help Wayne out. You feel anything wrong, you call me. I'm alright, alright? Call me, hear me? Will do. Weirdo, why is he so worried? He's just concerned. He's worried about you. May I ask? Uh, he's my de facto dad. My mom's older brother. He took me in after my parents died. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Oh, don't worry, it's all history. I'm off work now. Boyfriend's rating. <laughs> we have a nice therapy session. Ha ha. Keep up the good work, guys. Bye, Jeff. Good for him. We have hours ahead of us. Not Tyler. All right, lucky boy, aren't you? I'm busy with work, okay? Am I involved? No. Good. I'm off the <laughs> You, we didn't need to know that. Get lost already. Sigh. What's up? Nothing, I just wonder why this is happening. You need to chalk it up to software glitches. Ops couldn't fix it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I want to get coffee. See you guys around. Bye. Bye. Hey, Jason. I see you're officially off work. Could you do me a favor if you don't mind? There's something I need help with. No stress if you could say no. What's up? You said you needed help? First, promise you whatever I'm about to say, you won't tell anyone. Uh, I'm getting into some evil plan. Yes, but not my evil plan. Keeping secret won't do any harm you can, if it's found out. What do you say? Can you make a promise? Uh, I promise, sure. There's an old lady when we're covering con consultations, right? Uh, right, stick me tongue. Good. I'm missing how she slipped through our pre-screening measures. Someone must have been helped her along the way for passing reviews to forging health records. And this one must be an insider, a colleague of ours. As for reason, it has to be money. They had money to bribe farm insiders when they bother with a this would they bother with this contributor gig? Cannabis cannot possibly have money or so they wouldn't be here. They could have money. Once signed up, they can they get advanced. You're in contract in the contract room. Surely you must have heard about it. Oh now listen, Jason. Auntie is taking this very seriously. We have a problem if more people like Sigmund Tongue show up at consultation. No matter how hard we try, we can't catch them all. All of them. Eventually some who aren't physically fit will slip into the cellar and could die. It's even worse if they survive. Chances are they will bring their similarity, a similarly unfit friends. Has this ever happened before? Not that I'm aware of. Why? But chocolate. And no one slipped through? 
Yeah, it sounds beautiful, but our automated pre-screening system is quite awesome. Being the number one supplier of flops, automation, and AI is this vision's theme. Plenty of people have tried to cheat the system, but none found any success. Telling space is kind of a big deal. Is it a system glitch, like Kathy said, or what? Anyways, what happened, happened. Our job now is to find out how. My plan is to narrow down the list of suspects first. Honestly, I have no idea where to start. That you might have advice to give? Any ideas? Uh, she did mention being helped by a friend. Meaning they are close to each other, not just bribery, huh? This is important. If we can find anyone who had a personal relationship with Tung, it would have pretty much solved this case. Yeah, let's begin with that. Anything else you can think of? Sorry, that's it for now. No problem. We already have a solid lead to start. We're officially partners now. Let me explain my overall schedule for this investigation. It's quite excited. Listen, all contributor candidates must pass three checks to get a consultation session. Same applies to Tung. I'm going to find out how she slipped through all three checks. If we know how they did it, we can quickly narrow down the list of suspects. What three checks? First of all, candidates must have a copy of their own profiles. The vision pre screening system crawls the internet to collect everything about them to know, or there is to know about them. The system compares everything against records from government, such as crime, marriage, registration. The government has gives us access to that. See if you never worked for a corporation of this size. Once a corporation is big enough, they can gain access to everything, private information included. The government relies on big corps, either their money or tech, to govern this country. They're eager to make friends. You know what? Sometimes the government even begs us for information access. That's the first check. Second check is physical examination. Candidates must be assessed by clinics or hospitals appointed by vision. The result is then fed into the system for qualification. The final check is administrative approval. Each batch of candidate must be signed off by a division lead, the manager, secretary, and, and the manager. Through amounts of profiles? Of course not. The secretary manager is signing off everything without looking. The division leads check random profiles for inspection. Not our division lead. When party reads any profiles these days. Is anyone selecting profiles right now? I don't know. You could ask them later. The first check are highly automated and reliable. Cheating is virtually impossible. Unless, unless someone's feeding the system incorrect information. What is that is unlikely. When we go home already, we took down an arm intruder. We aren't officially hired yet. It's true. Every entry of that is double checked and triple checked. You can't throw in a fabricated profile and call it a day. Or are we doing it with the group? Forget about it. Let's see what we can find first. Let's begin now. Let's start from check. I'm more familiar with the system. You can try this again now. Ask either for a database. Ask. She cares a lot about contributors. Something connected to your well being. Totally fine. Don't let her know what we're doing. Can I trust you on this? Uh, sure. For anything major happens. If you put it that way. Sorry. Having a good time on away, huh? We're having a good time because you're away. I'm supposed to get jealous now. He's <laughs> just sorry. It's supposed to. Don't you ever steal my BFF? <laughs> you mean my BFF? Can't help your BFF loves me. Uh, this means war. Keep me out of it, you guys. You want to meet Jester? <laughs> okay, so I reserved. You may kiss your BFF now. I'll just look my wounds in my nest of pennywork. Sad face. Come on, dude. Edith, hey. I'm in a much longer day. Police are still having them for questioning, and tomorrow they'll have to face the victim's family. Does the company require them? No, they insist. Okay, bad stuff aside, can I help you with something? Uh, accents. Eh, what for? I can't tell her. Uh, I don't know more about the job. Can we? I can be a stash a blank from surprise. No, I, I need. What for? I need broad examples. We're not formally hired yet, so I can't. Sorry, you can always come back when you're officially one of us. I'm gonna tell. 
Why did it say that? What's going on? Oh, something. Sorry, it's confidential. Really? Jason, are you? Yes. <laughs> Good. Good? I knew Auntie wouldn't just let this go. <gasps> I'm so, I'm hitting all the right notes. <laughs> Let's just go. Otherwise, she wouldn't deserve the manager's offer. <laughs> Am I supposed to hear that? I can't tolerate shady deals like this on the farm either, Jason. We do screen for a good reason. Cannon's physically unfit could be injured or even killed once backed up. <laughs> you promised to keep it a secret. Sorry. It would lead to retaliation, like this message just had to be. I'll get you access to the physical records. I'm also joining your investigation. Go check the records. Shit. Oh my goodness. Fuck you, Hayden. Look at that. I even got an ally. Holy. What projected do you? Uh, database. What projected do you access? Uh, candidate physical priest provide a candidate. Signet tongue. Very low. Blood pressure. Blood supply disorder. Muscle mass, bone, bomb. Neurons, I do eat low. High damage risk. Overall? What the? This entire office is gonna know within an hour. What it is, they're definitely friends. It's like auto records and share correct, but our assessment is corrupted. This is a glitch or something going on. With the entire will want to know about this. Yes. Eugene die. Blood pressure. Stable. There might be something up with the other candidates. I guess not. Are you done with the records? Any findings? Someone overwrote tongues over assessment? Wait, are you sure? Uh, not, but it's very likely. I have a look at myself. It's sensible. It is sensible assumption for sure. Diver could do that though. He needs to clear answers, a bit of know-how. I think I have an idea to bear thanks for this. That's it for today. Hey, we made some progress. Hey, sorry to nag you about it again. This is a secret investigation. Don't tell anyone. Actually, Edith knows about it. What? Crap. Edith's in trouble. You think she, she's the culprit? No, if one person is definitely not the culprit, it'd be her. She cares a lot about her candidates. The so please just say the word she's there. Out loud, you know. Doesn't that mean she could join a secret operation? That's the last thing I want. Her problem is that she cares too much. Sometimes she'd act on a whim and ruin everything. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Sorry, she didn't told her. It's alright, you're just very perceptive. She's gonna find out on her own sooner or later. But this better be the last time, Jason. Don't tell anyone else. Not to specifically ask me to keep it to myself. You used to be alerted to call for it. Why would you enlist me then? Chill. Not to say I'm the boss of the day. I trust you, that's enough. Okay, thank you for your trust. Don't thank me just yet. I trust you because you two need to have a stake in it. Plus, you're the, new, you're the one to interview Tong. Right. I know you really want this job. In fact, he's, you better be motivated to crack this. He's a smarter guy, alright? Well, I'll take my thank you back. <laughs> Don't be like that. Then the I still trust you. I've been asked for your help, yeah? Alright, okay, thank you for staying. You're free to go home. What about you? I have a few reasons to do. Have a nice day. <gasps> We're gonna see our wife now. Let's clock the fuck out of here. Hey Jason, you're all done with work? Should I tell a friend about that? Something you might want to know. I'll tell her. Huh? What is that? And stop. What? What did you say? Hold on, chat. Chat? Check what? I wonder how she can find out. And how she drag. Are you hurt? That was quick. <laughs> Look at she knows everything now. Uh. Docs, I'm fine. Really? Don't try to lie to me. Really? I'm totally fine. Phew. I was worried sick. Why'd you fight that psycho? You knew about that? You need about that? I know everything. Okay. <laughs> Sent to inform me of all LC executives. Now the police are involved. For a second, I thought you were. 
she's on the verge of tears. Oh, please don't do that again. Okay, I won't do it again. I promise. You keep it. Sorry, Jay. I shouldn't blame you for everything you have had. Don't worry. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad you're okay. After everything that happened, I guess you're done for today. Here, you have elevator access now. Let's meet in F1 lobby. F1. And no hurry, you've got more work to do. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be free in the lobby. That's it. See you there. Love you. Love you. <laughs> She's so cool and so awesome. Oh my goodness. We finally get to go home. Wait, what? An F1? You're doing a great job. I knew I can trust you. That's the guy. Thank you, Mr. Yan. Don't let me keep you any longer. See you next time. Hopefully you can find a way to deal with those directors. Ha, uh, I will. Good night, Miss Shang. Good night. He looks like a top brass. Shana has got some anime villain vibes? Who knows? Oh, hi. Oh, hi there, Jay. Are you really alright? I'm worried sick. I'm perfectly okay. <laughs> Hmm, I see you're okay now with that no that no big deal attitude. I love it when she's smart. Oh you're so cute. Okay, well, let's get going. I'll ride it all the way all the way up. Wait, what? Wait, we're going up? Wait, what? Here we are. I love this night breeze. Here, over here. A oh, hi, Zivins. How is it? So where's the shell hole? <laughs> Sorry. How how's what? It's breathtaking. Right? I come here every once in a while. From here I can see HQ's tower. The side of it reminds me of games. Friend used to work there, or she never felt happy. Back then, I thought I could see all the way to the end of my life. Work and more work. Until you showed up. Oh. I've been thinking lately that you have changed me a lot. Once I was so eager, trying my best to prove my worth. Prove to whom? Funny, I never asked myself that. Not even once. Everything I did was to myself that. The peace of mind. Because I was constantly afraid that maybe someday, out of the blue, someone would show up and, and tell everyone that I'm a fake. That I'm nothing. That I don't deserve anything I own. And the child that no one is ever proud. This is such an, this is such an Asian game. <laughs> But it's so, like, it's so true. This no one never appeared. Instead, I found you. You made me see how lost I was. Push us off. Push her off and romance Edith instead? No! She's cool. She's awesome. Okay? Although you don't like to give advice you kind of made me see myself what i really want i want to help others by giving what they need what they need when they need it you know it'd be the throwaway what if she's the one that that caused all of this like what you did for me no Freya. quite the opposite you saved me that's why i asked you to be transferred from here i also help these contributors by finding a way that is reasonably profitable yet much more humane 
Or so I believe. I'm sorry, I've been going on and on about myself. You're the star of the show today. Can I have cake? I want ice cream cake. How do things go? Uh. Uh. If all things we feel practice, no verdict that. Well, Miss Yeh surely leaves no stone unturned. But Edith, Edith caught us a good boy, and that did something to you. Settle down, settle down. How do you feel about her so far? Adamant when he... Adamant. Yes, exactly. I feel the same. You should have written Mr. first then that this line of work involves difficult decisions. Being adamant after so many years in the business is so is a rare quality. I suppose you like her management style? I do. Great. Hey, the most important thing is, did you did you get the job? No idea yet. Everything was <laughs> with everything interrupted by the psychopath. Ah. Right, she has enough to deal with already. Wait, they want you to be here again tomorrow? Uh yeah. Tomorrow's the field practice for ops. Wait, I just realized, didn't you say this interview was for ops? Why did they ask you to try out screening today? Uh, I have equal chance for both screening and ops. Isn't that great? Show them your best. So everything you did today was for screening, Jay? Sunny, she's getting serious. I guess you have met the people regularly signed contracts with. And the man who tried to kill you. I got hate him wants to kill your VIPs again. What? Should should have put a comma in there. What? <laughs> what do you make of it? Uh what does she mean? This career that I'm in. The flaw farming business as a whole. Are we preying on the disadvantage? Hmm It's not a yes or a no. It's very, it's more, it's more complicated. You think so? So far, I have, I found no answer. I can wear it with the hope to help people. The more I do, the less I believe what I'm doing. Maybe what I do doesn't matter. Nothing could change the industry. Maybe this whole industry is built on the exploitation of the poorest people. Right. Ah. What should I do? I should calm her down. Tell you the truth, Jay, I'm living in constant fear. Fear that what I believe is for the better turns out to be just as bad. I don't want to be a snob who's full of fancy talk. I really hate myself for it. You're overthinking it. What if I just told you, what if I told you I want to quit? If someday I find the answer to my question, it means I must quit this job. Whatever you decide, I'm only by your side, friend. I'd say go for it. I'm always by your side. Thank you. Are you gonna kiss? Fucking kiss. Do it. It's always like this. Huh? Like what? When I tell you about my trouble, you never give a straight answer. No matter how much you talk, my question remains unanswered. How can I be a real elf? No, I don't mean that. What you did is exactly what I need. My life, my decisions, my future. I must find my own answer. However, I don't have what it takes to face it alone. You're to help me time and time again. Remind me that no matter what happens, what path I choose, you'll always be there for me. Even if I push you aside, even if you try to dig a, I try to dig a hole and hide in it. Is this actually China? Can I see this? <laughs> I don't know. You always find me. Tell me that I have you. Thank you for finding me, Jay. How many times? I've lost count. <gasps> the, the, oh, oh. The moon appeared. Wow. Pran, I. Ah, the moon. Oh. Tomorrow's the fourth anniversary of our relationship. Yeah, time flies. Four years in the bank must mean we both enjoy time together. I love you. I love you. Ooh. <gasps> I'm slamming my desk. I'm slamming. Picture it right there, chat. 
Let's go home. <laughs> Why was there a glitch, though? Thank you for finding me, Chapter 1. It's been a long day. Yeah. You go to bed first. I'll take a shower. Night. Love you. You're weird today. Hey, what the heck? Love you too. <laughs> Wait, I have such a bad feeling about this. Hopefully tonight won't have trouble sleeping. What do you mean by that? Wait. You again. Jason died? Who else could it be? So you really have no idea, do you? Uh... What is this place? We're inside my mind, probably. You will be trapped here for a while until my body wakes up. Have you seen things like this before? You're a sharp one. I can tell you are different from the others though. Why? Different from the others? What do you mean different? All this fuzzy noise around you? I've never seen anything like this before. What made you special? Oh, the fuzzy sound? It's the glitches. Not 100% sure, but I wouldn't be here if given the choice. Meaning you didn't, you didn't mean to occupy my body? Yeah, I see. Can I know a bit more? I mean, about you. When you want to know, starting from your name, if you have one. Oh, shit. And the you. That. That doesn't sound like a name. A code name, maybe? What do you remember before being sent to my body? I had to follow orders from for some strange people. You were controlled by someone, maybe an organization. How did you barge into my mind? Also following their orders? No, they were killed before I was sent here. What? Killed by whom? It was something like a specter. We're only getting more questions than answers here. Summon up, you were dumped into a stranger's body, totally unprepared, and stayed for a whole day. I pretend. It's self. Does this count an isekai? It kind of is. It's self inserting us. What did you miss? A lot. Someone, <laughs> someone like nearly fatally wounded a colleague. This video game is my life. That nitpicking this yay does like you though. You don't like her? You don't like her either? What's with either? You don't like her? I like her. Sort of. Is that so? Everything considered. Thank you for not screwing up my day. You handled everything well. So he's conscious of it. So it's not... Okay. Tell him you're going to have sex with this. <laughs> okay. So I understand what's going on. It's not... So you know how we're able to see him talking? The best way to think about it is it's one body but two minds. We're just the other mind, but we're self-inserting ourselves while he's having his own monologue. Don't mention it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, man. I got you solid. Anyways, we must figure out a way to get you out of my body. I don't think you'll be able to stay long, though. How do you know? 
from experience, no one has stayed inside me for over a week yet. Wait, so this is multiple times. If you say no in this matter, you'll have to live my life in my stead. Please try to be considerate. I don't want my I don't want to face one heck of a mess, Mingyuli. Things I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> ah, I did. Let me put it in another way. I don't want to think about the possibility of facing one heck of a mess, Mingyuli. Share some encouragement. I can keep up the good work. <laughs> it could be. Would you like to help me? Sure, but how? If there are any major events upcoming, I'll give you a reminder the night before. <gasps> He's gonna be my UI. Make sure you follow my instructions. Don't try anything against my... I've already done that a couple of times. Let's put the long pause. The most important is Fran. Keep her out of harm's way at all costs. Everything else is dis dispensable. Myself included. Oh. You think she's in danger? She's deep enough, although. If she attempts to dive with something silly, keep her out of it, will you? I'll try. Thank you. Ah. Uh. You're a nice guy. You think so? I'm... <laughs> hmm. My body's waking up. You can feel it? Yeah. Just a big feeling. Well, we are still here. Any more questions? Can you open that door over there? This one? No can do. Shove, kick, won't budge. I guess there's nothing behind it. Other people took a trophy before. What did they do? You really have no idea? Yeah. I must be disoriented right now. I don't want to know details about what they made me do. Let's just say quick jobs, not the good kind. Do you know why they picked you? No. For being there in the right time? Or right place at the right time, maybe? Anyone else you want to know? Are you aware of what's ha everything happening in my control? Crystal clear. Feels funny. As if I'm taking control of my body, making decisions out of my own will, with no external influence at all. Even if you do something that's entirely out of my character, my brain will automatically find a way to legitimize them. Except for situations like this. Of course. This means when my body falls asleep, I gain full awareness during sleep. Everything rushes back in, suddenly I can tell I was manipulated. Feels nauseating. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright, out of your control. It will keep happening until you're out of my brain for good. The thought bubbles? Thought bubbles? <laughs> I am. Um, I'm surprised that you can feel anything at all. What exactly did you feel? Well, something I see your reaction to events every now and then. Did I show you any signs of struggle against your control? Uh, so far, no. Hmm, I suppose it's just reflex. Like I said, I don't have real awareness until we are sitting here. Those thought bubbles do not represent my rational thoughts. I'm confused. It's alright, you don't need to figure out everything. Anything else? I don't have any more questions. Is that so? What? I can feel that my body's already away when it, it's moving around? Well, who's in control? We're both in here. An in incomplete version of me, I guess. What? My theory is that I am the real Jason. I die only when I'm here. In this state, I have memory of everything I did under control. I'm fully aware of being controlled. There's another me, another you, without full memory of awareness. When you're not in the cockpit, it takes over. Two versions of you in the same body? It's a hypothesis. All memories being controlled are locked inside this room. So when you or others leave, I won't feel anything out of the way. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, it's about time. Time you leave. I can feel it. I'm leaving the rest of you, please. Oh? My head. This feels like... Hi, good morning. Good morning. 
to see you rest of the dogs. Perfect timing. Almost there. See you at Zang's. Zang's? Zang's Noodle. The one, the one on the way to the subway station? One is a crappy old man, but his wife is nice, remember? I may be a little bit late. Wait for me if you're there first. Oh, don't forget about your rifts. Our fourth anniversary exchange exchange gift afterward. Bye. Bye. Gotta get a gift? I hid on top of the shelf by the door. Oh, I have a gift for you. Top of the door. On a shelf by the door. I think it's cool that his mind has a chair. It's really nice. Yeah, imagine like standing. I don't see it. Oh. Nice. Did I forget anything else? Tevin! It's Tevin! Look! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Michael Shadowton's actions are your silly mobile? They're not silly! It's Genshin Impact. I'm investing in wife. <laughs> Yeah, go kiss your JPEG wife. Oh, oh, wife is wife, dude. I swear I'm gonna get it this time. Why are you trying so hard? Leah said she'd like to figure in this new series called Pooper or Wasp. I've got to get it for her. Oh, wife, wife in real life. <laughs> Shut up. These two are so quirky. Wow, wow, wow. What's wrong with this thing? Scan this QR code, right? But I don't see any menu popping. Actually, you just order from me. Once. No worries, I can handle this QR code. Ah, uh, okay. Let me show you what a winning hand looks like, sucker. No damn way, you're cheating. Is it really okay to leave your kids playing on the ground? They could get sick or something. As long as they don't interrupt us. What? <laughs> Stupid QR code menus? Look at her. My pet? Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There's a few petting the dog, mister. Oh, sorry, it's your dog. Gotcha, I was kidding. He's a stray. People in this neighborhood keep feeding him. So I thought maybe I should adopt him. You can meet him, but do bring nice dog treats. People feed him all sorts of fancy stuff, hearts and crafts. Hey, handsome, I've never mean, seen you before. You live nearby? Uh, sort of. How does this sort of, huh? Come by sometimes, just in case you're running. I don't have a boyfriend yet. Uh, but I have a girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Forgot about that then. Bye, see you again. See you. <laughs> sorry, we're loyal to you. <laughs> what is with your obsession to eat it? Hey, mister, can you do me a quick favor? Uh, what kind of favor? Come out of my exhaust pipe? I think this bike is working as supposed to be. Sure thing. Hey, you can't see the pipe while riding it. I was going to think coming out of smoke. Uh, I don't see anything. Nothing at all. Nice. Since we were working there, it must be a power something stuff. The hover engine. Hover engine? It's all right, but Hubbard is ex exactly so new. I've been running into 
I've been riding as a regular bike until recently they repaved this road. Like in Hubbard, nice saving and gas. Saving gas? How? Do you ever ride a bike? I thought everybody knew that. Oh yeah, since you didn't start me up to speed. Everyone's been doing this up road upgrades for days now. The New York's have a hover layer beneath the asphalt, pushes vehicles up, navigates them with public AI. We're all playing, self-driving, all is taken care of. Since the power comes off the, from the road, I don't even spend a penny on gas. Now we're ready to upgrade though, like small enemies are left out. So bike these days have to drive things, just in case, use wheels when hover engine isn't working. Get it? Got it. Hi, Laura. I should find a teaching job. Good, bike's all settled. Let me fire it up. Wow. Thank you. Have a good one. There's a typhoon coming. Sweet. What's a big one? This one's pretty nice. Yeah, it's Shannon. Bondville. Oh, is this the noodle place? <gasps> there she is. Hi. Mr. Dai, Miss Shang's already here. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. I thought you'd be here first. I like ramen fried egg. I already over for you. Ramen fried egg, yes? How do you know? Okay. Funny, you're an excellent cook, yet you eat basically the same thing every. Hey, what the heck? What's wrong with that? Because familiar things make me feel secure. No, I'm not gonna say that. Hi, I've never seen you here so late. Because it's now working night shifts. Oh, the work must be tough. Not at all, right? I'm getting used to it pretty fast. The work is tough. My boyfriend is super is tougher. Ha. <laughs> Where's Mr. Sang? Haven't seen him in a while. He's on a business trip. Business trip? For running a noodle house? Like Finding new ingredients for supplies? What? Right, something like that. Don't let me interrupt you lovebirds and show- Oh! Hey Jay, about the march. The march? You still wanna go? Yeah. Yeah, finally it's a plan. The march is happening next month. Everything's ready, just need more people. I wanna go. They are delivering a very important message. One that could potentially help many. Can you tell me again what they're marching? They want a universal basic income, a system that ensures everyone receives enough money to cover basic life expenses. We talked about this, remember? Meaning the government pays for everyone's salary? Yeah, but not exactly the salary. It's a fixed number. No less, no more. The idea is to find a standard figure based on domestic consumer prices. The spirit should be able to cover three meals a day and a roof over your head. Hey, does that mean you're interested now? She's beaming. Fran likes to talk about social means. Uh, would you like to talk more about it? Super duper. Like <laughs> to. I sense a torrent of lecture coming. Ah, we don't have much time for that. Maybe yes next time. Oh, I can't hear anything. I'm deaf. Hey, thank you for the follow. I hope you enjoy your stay. The rich included? Yes, right? It's easy to imagine that we are otherwise miss the who needs the money who doesn't on a case by case basis. That means a lot of administrative spending. And my it may eventually become a privilege. That's something we don't want to see. If everyone gets paid for doing nothing, who's gonna do all the work? I believe people will still wanna work. After all, universal basic income is supposed to cover basic expenses for survival only. It can't afford a comfortable life. That's very true. <laughs> I see your point. How's it? Do you understand the idea? Where does the, uh, the salary come from? First of all, government will need to terminate most or all social security and welfare programs. Ooh. That would be tough, even in real life, to remove social security and welfare programs. 
then tax the rich people harder, especially the big corporations. So this this is basically tackling on real life situations as well. Because one thing that's an issue is you can't necessarily tax the rich and poor at a fixed rate because say you have a tax of 3%. 3% sounds small, but between a person that makes $20 an hour compared to someone that makes, let's say, 50 an hour, that 3% is fucking huge and pales in comparison. The rich won't be happy about it. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're asking the government to write it into laws. Oh. That's not really, really the sort of people... That's not really the sort of rich people want to tax. Yeah, it's a very complex situation. They mean billionaires and companies? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, if a, if a flat tax rate happens, then it's like, you know, the only way you'd be able to tax people properly, if you want to do it based on a percentage, would be... I would say, hmm, I guess one way would be like a tiered, like a tiered percentage based on the amount of income you would make. I, I don't know. This sort of stuff is not my, uh, my forte or my realm of knowledge. So I only know the bare minimum. The bunch is born this very reason. We may not make any difference, but we must make our voices heard. Anything else? I think I'm all good. Wonderful. Thank you for explaining it all. You. I... Something wrong with my face? Nothing. You're somehow different, I think. Yesterday too. Something's off about you. But I'm not quite sure. Because I'm not Jason Thigh, that's why. What? <laughs> not funny at all. Dumb sense of humor. Definitely not... Definitely mild. Jason die. Okay. <laughs> I swear, this is like breaking the fourth wall. Okay, back to the topic. Anyhow, I want to participate in this march. I talked about it before, it's too dangerous. Wait, before you say it's too dangerous, this time it's different. The march is now approved by the government. Approved? It's been years since the government approved a march of any kind. Approved? Surely? You don't trust me? You're not so offended. No, I'm just surprised. Ha, see. Now it's been a while since the government approved any legal gathering. I just... What do you think? With the approval, the march is legal and safe? Now would you let me go? Some think it's dangerous. Public gatherings like this has been out of control in short arms. Hmm. I won't say no. I was afraid you wouldn't let me go. Yay! I think we'd have a fight over it again, with you refusing to listen. It's been like that all along. She's genuinely happy. Maybe I should have tried stopping her from the beginning. You should have you talking while you just sit there sulking. Sulking? So, one-sided is... One-sided fight is a fight. She's going? I should go too. I'm going with you. Great! I'll introduce you to my friends there. They're trying to see you in person. Ah, uh, but you don't want to hang out with people, right? Right. It's good to make new friends. <laughs> wow, Jason. Jason, Jason Dye wants to make new friends? You're like a totally different person. I just said I am. <laughs> I like this version of you better. Well, sorry, it's not, it's not Jason. The version was kind of gloomy, not caring much about others. Totally agree with you. <laughs> As if we're talking about someone else. But don't change too much, Jay. Jason Dye is mine, and mine alone. I'll keep that in mind. Good to know. Yeah, it's about time. We should get going. 
Let me see. Right. The shuttle will arrive soon. Let's go. See you later, Miss Key. Come again. Have a nice day. Definitely. Bye. Let's go. To the subway station. Wait a minute. Aren't we trying to figure out something about a packet? <gasps> Look, it's 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 Gavin. You are free now. <laughs> Next shuttle will be here soon. Won't take long. Why are there vision shuttles on the public station? Because vision funded the subway system. You mean the subway system is vision's property? No, the government has ownership. Vision. As the provider of funding has controlling rights, the corporations do things like this all the time. Like Bravo Sunrise, they control a lot of the organization through deals like this. King Gavin to you, Aika. <laughs> the government can stretch its resources, or else they wouldn't allow this to happen. Of course, there's conspiracy saying that's the plan all along. That's a whole elevation plan in preparation for the flooding. So, we can establish that there's some ca cataclysm happening or in the process. Maybe an, env an environmental disaster that's happening or in progress. Or the flooding. Flooding? Hey, Mr. Dai, have you been reading your news at all? Why am I asking? I know about this. The government has been talking about flooding since we're in elementary school because of global warming. Sea level has been on the rise. By 2020, by 2053, some cities on the west side, plus Wan Pai, will be sleeping underwater. Wan Pai sits in a basin. We are expected to be living in a lake by then. Gover governments are the rise with the initiative in response. For Wan, for Wan Pei, the plan is called Project Plateau. Specifically, the plan is to scoop up certain parts of Wan, Wan Pei with suspension technology. Well, parts of the city floating in the sky? Huh? Why are you so surprised? Relax, I'm gonna float in the sky. That is to, to jack parts of the city up slowly and steadily with suspension technology and build supporting frames beneath it. A lot of areas are already elevated. The number is also increased. See? Our block and the one on the other side are all elevated. Also, thanks to suspension support, we don't feel earthquakes as much. A nice bonus, right? Are the areas not elevated? A forest. For those parts, residents are evacuated. The evacuation process created a whole heap of new problems though. Oh, so there's a dis there's been a movement of this or I forgot what's it called. A disproportionate movement of people. We need to just make the cities the, ci the city from Rath? That's true. She seems to have remembered something unpleasant. Okay, enough about that. I'm not an MIT school teacher, you know? Do your own homework. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to stop by HQ Tower. Can't go to the farm together with you. Is there anything else should done? Nothing really. I can tell she's not lying. Just work stuff. Won't take long. We can go home together. Oh? Move over a little, Jay. Excuse me? Oh, she let them go first. What's up? There are red room staff? Red room? What's that? Uh-huh. Hmm. It's your vision employee now. You should know this. Red room is the science lab that is responsible for vision's technological advancements. Stay clear of it. And its people. Huh? Vision is success with confidentiality, especially technologies. The entire room staff is kept anonymous. They even live in safeguarded campuses. It's very rare to see them properly, like these, like these people here. Addressing them like that doesn't. Consider a warning. Keep a safe distance when you see the hat the uniform. They do have a keep off written all over them, kind of. You aren't hard yet, though. That's true. I heard some. Something I missed by vision just because of five minute chat with the red room. 
searcher and got fired and seen in the end what i should give these people a wide berth shadow's here let's go who is that mysterious person she was like tossing something in the air as well on the zoom out if you guys noticed it Okay, chat, I'm going to stop here. I'm tired. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Okay, thanks for hanging out. But yeah. That was really fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Same? Oh yeah, okay. I am Envy. Good night, good morning, good evening, whatever it may be. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope you all enjoyed your stay. Okay? See y'all tomorrow. And yeah, bye.